best nut ever. Good luck. All right, what is up, you guys? <clears throat> Welcome back. So, um, I wasn't planning on doing this today, like last week or whatever, but I saw a bunch of people doing the, uh, it's, I, I guess they're, they're calling it, um, legendary armaments percent. So it might be a little bit misleading because the first time I saw it, I thought it's like, oh yeah, you got to no hit the game with while using like every legendary armament or something, but here are the rules. Uh, but yeah, this is a team, a team hitless bounty. So yeah, I saw a bunch of people were doing. I'm like, oh, like wh what is this? I checked the Discord. It's actually pretty cool. So, um, I obviously have already done this before, uh, sort of, right? All achievements, no hit. Obviously, I had to collect all these, but, but this is different because there's some restrictions on it, right? So we're not. We're, so we have to collect every legendary armament. So runes, greatsword, eclipse shuttle. Uh, Graft a Blade, Sword Knight Flame, Executioner Greatsword, Darkmoon Greatsword, Devourer Scepter, Golden Order Greatsword, and Bolt of Grand Sacks. Um, but we can't, we can't use these weapons. Uchi Katana, Iron Balls or Starfist, Serpent Hunter, Bloodhounds Fang, Reduvia, Alabaster Lord Sword, or Stormhawk Axe. Now, that's not really a big restrictions on, on, on weapons because... I mean, I assume you could just use like the, uh, what's the big Uchi called? The, I, I forget what it's called. Yeah. The Nagakiba. You probably just use that, but I, I won't, I, I feel like that's not the point. Uh, but then, yeah, you're also not allowed. So buffing will be limited to anything on this list. So you're allowed great runes, physic, talismans, and equipment buffs. All weapon buffs. Um, maybe, so maybe I guess like Grease's self buffs, stuff ever. like that. Stamina regen, FP regen, Grafted Blade, Weapon Art. All damage negation buffs. Stealth and Valve Butts. 
And so you're only allowed these. So that means no Golden Vow, Howl, no Flame Grant Me Strength, all that stuff. Which is probably good, because this would be like way too easy without all that stuff. Uh, Louis, thanks for the brand new Prime stuff, dude. Let me get some splits up. I don't have any splits for this, but I've, I've started thinking about it a little bit. I think just simply square off. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing I thought of. But uh, obviously, there's no square off in a somber weapon. And, and so what's required then? So obviously, we have to kill Morgoth. We have to kill the red main duo. So, okay, so the furthest we have to reach, Morgoth, we have to get into Snowfield, so we have to kill Commander Nile. That's as far as we have to go in the game. Obviously, obviously we, have to, we have to kill Estelle, we have to kill Ranala. Uh, I have to kill Rodan, of course. Well, it didn't say... It didn't say the skip isn't allowed. But we, I guess we would still have to do it anyways. We still have to go get the, the key. So yeah, we have to kill Rodan. So I guess... So I guess Rodan and Ranala are the two great runes we kill. Let me... I, I, I haven't thought about this too much, but I just... I, I, the first thing I thought of was using Square Off, and I would like to use Square Off probably. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of the skip into the the tower to get the portal, but there's no point because we have to go get the Dark Moon Greatsword. And yeah, you don't we don't have to kill Fire Giant, so so that's kind of nice. No Fire Giant, so we're we're only fighting like mostly good bosses on this. We the Golden Order Greatsword, dude. That's we got to kill the Crusader. Not sure if anyone's done this yet. Like, I actually don't even know when this was posted, dude. But I just saw a bunch of people were doing it. Uh, okay, it was posted like four days ago or three days ago. So someone's probably done it by now. But it, like, it seems fun to do. Uh, Abe, thanks so much for the donation, dude. Also, Mad King, thanks for the eighteen month or twenty month tier three resub, dude. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Yeah. So probably I want to just get you know get a. Straight sword upgraded. Go fight Red Wolf right away. Like Red Wolf's a dangerous fight, so we probably want to do that immediately. And and like I've I've been doing the master run, so uh yeah, we do have to kill three misbegottens, that's true. Anyways. So so those are the rules. So we're not allowed to use any of these weapons. Um the real question is, though, like, what do we use for Estelle? Because going into that fight with... Like, I, I don't really want to have some crazy three-hour long run for this. I'd like to do it pretty fast and not have some massive setup. I do think you... So, so we get to Mountaintop. So let's say we go square off. I get plus 12 for Morgoth, which is more than enough. We don't have the buffs, but it doesn't even matter. We go into Mountaintops, get ourselves a plus... Like, the thing is, a, a somber weapon can very easily get a plus nine super early here. Uh, Pity, thanks for the raid. How was your uh, stream? Uh, it's, it's really pushing you to use a somber weapon here. But I'd kind of rather not. Just because what you could do is just kill Loretta early, go get the somber seven, and then just get a plus nine immediately. Transition to Dark Moon Greatsword. Um, no, I don't think that really maybe, maybe makes sense. I, I want to go square off the whole time. Ever. Uh, QI, How thanks for the 29 month resub. Friend? I appreciate that. How's it going, Aziz? Yeah, you're allowed Assassin's Gambit, which is kind of nice. Or Unseen Form. I'll probably go Unseen Form, I guess. Or. Do, do we even need it? I, um, I kind of feel like we don't need stealth on this. That is true. We do have to kill Bernal. That is true. I'm just trying to think what we'd even need stealth for, though. 
Anyways, let's just, uh, we'll think about it as we go, because there's, there's actually a lot to think about. This is not going to be a short run, probably. Um, do we go broadsword or do we go longsword? I mean, we could just buy one of them. Legendary. LA. I feel like we don't need that much faith, though. Yeah, these are, these are like, it just depends what, what build we want to go with. No, we don't need stealth and castle Saul either. I, I, just, I can't think of where we need stealth, really. I'll just, I'll, I'll just go Vagmond, I mean. I can't really see us needing cracked pots for anything either. There's no godskin, so. Let's go with this. I mean, we'll just go and test this out a bit. So I think the first thing... Oh, stealth for Noxtel, actually. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're going to be killing Bernal, so maybe we just go Assassin's Gambit then. Because, yeah, stealth is nice there. It's true. A good old longsword. I think this is mostly strength scaling. Or it's probably... I think it's better with strength than dex. Teammate listers don't allow... Oh... Well, it's not Lens Rise Skip, isn't it? Some other one, but yeah. Okay, well. I guess this is a team hitless bounty, so I should probably follow those. I think the first thing is Red Wolf, though. Well, actually. Okay. Okay, so I think what we're actually going to do. Cheese Bell Bearing Hunter. Get the Beast Torch, because we kind of need the Beast Torch. I, I think... I think, um... I, I feel like, I've, since I'm so used to the Master at this point, I don't mind fighting Red Wolf with, with low upgrade. I'd rather fight Red Wolf earlier. I have no HUD on, I just realized. I'd rather fight, uh... Red Wolf earlier with lower upgrade than to bother going to get like a plus 12 or something. I'd rather just have a, a sooner fight because I'm, I'm, I mean, even a plus zero is going to be way more damage than I'm used to. So. Uh, how's it going, Swoop? I, I do like this. Uh, this is a cool bounty though, man. I, I like this. Not sure how, if I've missed a bunch of them and they do them often on Team Hitless now, but. Uh, Grafted Greatsword is, um, kind of not very good, honestly. If it had a Thrusting R2, I feel like it'd be a lot better. No, I, I well, Grafted, it, it definitely could be the play as an early somber weapon, but... I feel like it's not the best choice. I'd rather go... So if I, if I was going to use one of them, I'd rather go Sword of Night and Flame, probably. But another option we have is the Wing of Estelle. But... No, I guess we couldn't get it for Redan because we're not allowed to do the skip. So... Okay, so that's not as good then. I don't know. I think I think the real question is... Obviously, a plus 12 longsword is will carry through everything. I'm just worried about the Estelle meteorite attack. That's literally the, the only thing I'd be concerned about, because there's no way we would skip it with this. With no buffs, especially. And, and like, that meteorite attack is so fucking garbage, dude. Such a garbage attack. Hey, sir, but you, I can play turning wood to aid you. You need O to the foot. Then it's summon me. Ah, I bequeath... And then what else do we have to do? We, we have to go kill Leonin at some point. We can just do that whenever, probably. Unless I want the buff early. And I probably will be mostly leveling strength on this, so...
So I, I can't use I can't use basically any of the normal buffs that we use on no hit runs like Golden Vow, Let Get Me Strength, Owl. Can't use any of those. Yeah, this is yeah this is sort of like the all achievements run except I just can't use the Iron Balls <laughs> basically. Yeah, I have already done. Obviously, I've already gotten every legendary armament in a no hit run, but maybe maybe I'll give you the best. Bow the Indomitable. I don't think it's that a good on the meter, uh, that good on meteorite attack, but I've, I've never actually tried it. But you kind of want to be moving, I feel like, during that. Uh, Dayton, thanks for the brand new prime sub. I appreciate that. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. So, so let's get a plus six for Red Wolf, and I feel like that's reasonable. And then who knows? Like maybe I just get a plus six for Renala too, and just fight her early. I I have all the strats, so it's not like. <laughs> We're pretty well prepared to just kind of do anything here. Uh, Rex as well. Thanks for the five-month prime sub. Yeah, it's a rule of the run bank, yeah. I'm not sure who proposed the bounty, but they probably just didn't want all the fights to die in, like, end instantly. Um, I guess another consideration, though, is the Crucible duo. That boss actually is really annoying. Uh, yeah, I could use Knight's Resolve, I think. I, can't, I always say Crucible Duo, dude. Dude, every time I talk about that red main duo, I always say Crucible Duo. I don't know why. <laughs> Just every time. Yeah, I, I don't think we're allowed uh, Exalted Flesh and stuff either. Yeah, I can use Assassin's Gambit. Surely this maybe. mosquito won't kill me. I'll give you the Can best you nut ever. Oh, I at least. My thanks. Maybe, maybe. Oh my god, I'll really? Best nut ever. What is it? Wait. I see. I see it now. Humans all lose their roots eventually. How could this I wish they just did not put a mosquito right fucking here, dude. I should probably, I, I, I should actually probably do this later when I have a bow. Just in case I, I decide I want to use like a uh, blue dancer or something. Physic tier that gives more poise damage. Well, we don't need more poise damage. Um. We have square off, so we're not going to need more. Just buy his upgrades, I guess. Buy some arrows, too. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to need more poise damage. But there, there is one strat that I've, I've never used before, but I remember testing it a long, long time ago where you would, uh, you would go against the wall in the Estelle fight. And then whenever whenever you're against the wall and Estelle teleports, well, and Estelle's against the wall, Estelle just like stands still basically. It teleports and does the animation, but teleports right back to where he was. So, I I really don't think we need anything here, man. I'll just say we don't for now. I'll come back if I actually do. No, it's so yeah. It's not we. Yeah, the command. Maybe it, it's maybe it's simply collecting all of the legendary armaments. That's it. We don't have to use them. Although it probably makes sense because there are some good ones. Uh, the key. Thanks for the brand new prime sub, MP. Thanks for the two month prime sub and uh, Sora Tech. Thanks for the brand new prime sub as well. Yeah, it's kind of too bad a somber weapon makes way more sense for this. A little bit. Is it who can complete the run first? Um, I don't even know if it's... I think it's just, just completing it. 
I don't know if there's anything more than that. Yeah, I think that's just the goal, just for people to complete it. Now, the command should be working in the YouTube chat also, but yeah, basically we all we have to do is collect all the legendary armaments, and there's a few restrictions on buffs and weapons. Like, all the meta buffs and weapons that you see people use for the no-hit runs, you, you can't use those, basically. That's all you need to know. It's very simple. It just may be a little misleading because it's... When I first saw it, I thought it was like, oh yeah, you gotta use all the legendary armaments. Like, you gotta collect them and use them all, but you actually don't, I don't think. Unless I misread something. Uh, Square Off isn't really meta. I don't think anybody... I haven't seen people no-hit the game with Square Off before. Other than, like, the... I, I've done I've done a run with the cane sword. That's that's the only one I've seen. Iron balls, but disguise them as pom poms. Yeah, that's sure, surely that'll work. I'm sure that'll work. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Jonesy, thanks for the brand new up, dude. Oh, yeah, the Spike Cestus, dude. Yeah, that's true. I guess those are allowed. Maybe, Actually, maybe good point. I'll give you the best nut Arctic ever. as well. Thanks for the uh, brand new sub. Yeah, the, the Spike Cestus are pretty solid, too. It's actually probably a better setup than this, now that I think about it. Although, but I would rather use, I would rather use square off on a misbegotten easily than the Cestus because you you kind of want range and you want to be able to stun him. So I I don't I, I don't know for for probably main bosses I would rather take the spike Cestus but I think in this case this might be better. Discord link's broken. You might have to... Yeah, you might have to be in the Discord. I don't know. I didn't actually mean to rest here. Oh. Yo, uh... Professor Stringbean. Thanks so much for the $50, dude. That's insane, man. Thanks so much, dude. Always wanted to use the Devour Scepter. Yeah, I don't think it's great, but I haven't used it a whole lot either, so. These are these are gonna be the runes we get here. Early game maybe, runes. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I mess it up. Ah, that's annoying. I always, uh, I always underestimate how big of an angle I need for this. Because there's been, there's been times too where I, I somehow like front stab him. Get a repost instead of a backstab. I wonder if there's a good actual lineup I can use somewhere. Maybe like at the arm, because that's good. Um, yeah, I don't think this is supposed to be region locked, is it? I don't think that was one of the restrictions on it. Unless, <laughs> maybe it might have been.
Region locked actually could have been interesting if, if you if they made it so that you needed to get the armament that before you could leave the area or something, but it doesn't really quite work. Yeah, you can cheese the Knight's Cavalry, but there's just there's you don't need that many runes, so the Bell Bearing Hunter is faster, anyways. You have to go there, anyways. No, we don't. We don't even have to use the legendary armaments. I, I, I'm, I'm not even really planning on using them. I don't think, but I'm not, I'm not maybe, sure. Maybe. Because I'll give you the best not ever. we could get a plus nine for Estelle. So, so let's say we do more got. Maybe. Like so, maybe, so we do. Um, I'll give you the best not ever. Let's just say we do Renala right now, plus twelve or, or whatever. I might do Renala plus six. Maybe, I, I feel like maybe, square off should be good enough for that, I'll give but. The best not ever. Uh, so, yeah, we get plus 12. We do Redan plus 12. We do Morgot plus maybe, 12. Maybe and we go get the next Bell Burn, get to a ever. plus... Plus what? Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best not ever. What do I normally get to? Like, plus 17? And then we... We do that, but, like, plus 17 is obviously worse than a plus 9. There should still be plenty of damage, I think. It, even a plus nine with no buffs, you're probably still gonna maybe, have to deal with the maybe. meteorite attack anyway, so. Holy smokes, dude. Not ever. Uh, Koenig, thanks for giving a sub to Dino. Split, thanks for the two-month prime sub. Flute, thanks for the brand new prime sub. Quack, quack, thanks for the brand new prime sub. Uh, Dan, thanks for the three-month prime sub. Matt, thanks for the 37-month prime sub. And Bruler, thanks for the brand new prime sub as well. Thanks so much, you guys. That's insane, dude. I probably don't have enough ones right now. Oh, I actually do. Perfect. Okay, get all those. So we'll just take this portal here. I wonder if a uh, frost could be useful anywhere. Because obviously we can buff this thing, and it's very easy to get a bunch of frost greases going. Maybe, maybe... I'll just grab it. I'll give you the best not ever. Obviously, we'll also, maybe, we'll also have maybe, access to Chilling Mist. I'll so I could... Not ever. I could put Chilling Mist on like a dagger or something and then... throw that into certain boss fights. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best not ever. We're back. Uh, Mikola, thanks for the two-month resub. And Math, thanks for the five-month resub as well. And I, thanks for the brand new prime sub. <laughs> Jesus, dude. What do you think is the best legendary weapon? Uh, probably Sword of Night and Flame. So I'm forgetting one. Maybe Bolt of Grand Sax, but... If I were to only pick one, it would most likely be the Sword of Night and Flame. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess Dark Moon. Okay, aside from Dark Moon. Because obviously Dark Moon's the best one. Really? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best not ever. Uh, Mr. Turtle, thanks for the eight month resub. I appreciate that. Okay, so we need six more. We got three here, and then we'll get the three on the way to the key, I guess. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. So just pick ever. up this grace. I, I don't know. Uh, old G, thanks for the uh, maybe, two month prime maybe. sub as well. And Cheezen Rice, thanks ever. for the uh, very new prime sub as well. Mr. Turtle, thanks for the eight month resub. What is going on today, dude? Aren't there... I think there's a few more smithing stones down here as well, right? Somewhere? Not sure if it's three, though. Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best not ever. Oh my god, man. <laughs> uh, Kazoon Oni, thanks for the uh, 
I'm sure that's not how that's said, but... Okay, there's two there. Thanks for the burning prime sub as well. Yeah, we're obviously here for Vow the Indomitable, which we want for Red Wolf. So there's two there. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best Oops. nut ever. Woman 1G. Thanks for the brand new Prime sub as well. You senders trade Terra Sanko? Um, probably. Unless he wants to stay. But that's the only way he would not be traded. Because he's good, man. He's had a pretty good season, I would say. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Blast. Snooze, thanks for the nine month resub as well. Uh, an armament is just a weapon. Like, there's there's an achievement tied to collecting all the uh, legendary armaments, so. The point of this run is to s just get all of those. Like, basically, get the achievement while having a few extra restrictions on top. We're just routing it right now. Trying to figure out what setup I want to use. I, I kind of just want to go square off the whole way, but. It, on, like, unfortunately, it kind of doesn't make as much sense as going with a somber weapon, though. Uh, there are, what, like nine legendary armaments or something? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Kieran, thanks for the brand new Prime sub as well. It was Bounty Man? Well, it's basically, uh, it's a challenge set out by Team Hitless. So. Alright, so we got enough for plus six. Going with the same restrictions uh, of no buffs. Other than the ones listed. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the exact bounty, as it's said. I th well, I think. That's what I was planning on doing. Uh, I don't I don't think there's a reward. I think it's just, just beating a challenge, you know? I don't think there's money involved or something like that, <laughs> but I didn't really look too closely. I don't really... I If there is, I don't need it anyways, dude. I could even go plus zero, Red Wolf, and it'd be... I feel like it'd just be no problem. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the Frost here, though. I might... I wonder if I could use that on Renala to fight her, like, earlier or something. The problem is, square uh, having square off with the status effect isn't really... Like, it's not really that good. But we'll see what happens. We can just test it. So, get a plus six. We'll say. I do believe this weapon's better with strength. Like, I, I kind of... I don't want to do... A gigantic setup for this run. 210. I am two-handing, I guess, but... I think it's probably better. And I could maybe use Graft to Blade buff at some point. Just when I think if I need to save any of those, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah, I don't I don't really want to do this run like a normal no hit run where I spend it fucking an hour getting set up at the start. I'd rather just jump into all the bosses. Uh Dragon Halberd would be okay for this. Very far out of the way though. Maybe, maybe. I'll give you the best Unless you're going to get ever. it later. Uh, Isaac, thanks for the brand new prime sub. Core Eye, thanks for the brand, brand new prime sub as well, dude. Anyone see me and Zully the Witch latest video? Uh, what was the latest video about?
I need a bow at some point. Uh, the first, the probably the quickest legendary armament you can get is the Devour Scepter. I, I would assume. Just go kill Bernal. I'm gonna do the the slower strat here. If I, if I had a bow, that would probably be a good idea. Get the get the long bow. We just do the master run strat though. Like that's what's really nice about doing the runs, like the master run, is that you sort of generalize any strat that you need. So so when you're doing only like the meta best most optimal setup, no hit runs. That doesn't apply to every single run, right? So... So it's like, it's not that useful. Like, you learn that route, but then as soon as you don't have exactly the tools that you're used to, then you're just screwed. But when you do a run like the Master Run, you, you can't just rely on... killing every enemy and all this stuff. So... So you learn strats that can the apply to any run, such as this one. But the wise man knows himself to be a fool. I guess I, I do need the beast torch for this though, so there's one thing, but maybe maybe. Um, Elfman, thanks for the a thousand bits Welcome again, dude. And Liam, thanks for the ten month resub. Only run, and it's the most fun I've had in a while on this game. Yeah, Square Off is broken as hell, man. It's very good. It'll be very good for this this route as well, since we're killing so many misbegotten's like. Misbegotten's get destroyed by it. They just they get stunned in two hits, right? Most most minor bosses get stunned in two hits, so. Now there are also some somber stones I could be picking up here, but I am not sure if I'm gonna use a somber weapon. We'll see. Like I'm just thinking we could fight Redan plus twelve. We fight Morgoth plus twelve. And then after that we go upgrade to like at least a plus fifteen, maybe a bit more. Um and then. To save here yeah and then and then from that point we could probably just go kill the rest of the bosses and I, I i don't want to get to a point where i have some like really good cheese set up where i can just you know like script every boss I, i'm not sure if that'd be possible with without any of the buffs but who knows i'd rather just fight i i didn't put the strength tier in but i'm maybe, sure it's fine maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. See the damage. I do wonder if realistically we could get a stun here. <laughs> yep. Oh, goodbye, Red Wolf. So I guess the next boss, probably Renala. Oh my God, dude, that's so shit. Man, that what is, is going so on today, dude? Uh, Sabashi, that's thanks for the brand new sub and garbage. Cliffside Push. Thanks so much for oh gifting God. five subs, dude. Make sure uh, you thank Cliffside if you got a sub right there. Thanks so much, dude. All right, so I guess we'll take the bow. Probably take the dagger as well. Not sure if we need anything else. So. So yeah, plus six red wolf, no problem. Like, how far in the run are we? Like twenty, yeah, like twenty-five ish minutes. That's no problem. I'm very curious about a plus six Ranala, dude. There's no way it'd be enough damage to Scripter, unless unless you got good RNG, probably. But uh, let's go see. Maybe Frost does something, like probably a two-cycle phase one. And like we have the Beast Torch, so it, like it doesn't even matter, dude. Let's go to Zas. It's a blank as well. Um, I have arrows, right? We got arrows. Like, we have the Beast Tour, so it doesn't, we don't need a scripted Ronala at all. 
But it might be scripted. I, I don't know, because... She's going to get... So so you can go into the fight, into Renala Phase 2. You can get a square off immediately without her stunning, because she's in, like, the, the casting of the... Maybe, maybe... Um, what do you I'll call it? Like, the commoner. So you can do that, and then you get a guaranteed stun on the opening, and then you can repost. And then on wake up, I know another square off is safe. But the problem is she gets like instant hyper armor on her summoning attack, so you wouldn't be able to get a stun again. If you could probably if you could stun again, it probably would be scripted. I'm just routing this right now as Super Bio. So we'll go bow. Well, you want a physic too? Then we'll just do like the master run strat here. Probably do like uppercuts. Okay, so yeah, pretty comfortable two cycle. Maybe I could use a frost there and, and like try to get a, a frostbite, but I don't really know what that would even do. Okay, so now you found a red wolf opener manipulation. We're off here. So another square off. Dude, look at the, I mean, we're only about six, man. So I know this and an R1 is safe. He gives us this, I think. Cut. So now, at this point, we're just waiting for the wolves to happen. That's all we're waiting for. I guess we could probably punish here if... There they are. I probably have enough damage to kill, but... Oh. Let's we'll do it safe. So square off. R1. Yeah, like, do a plus 12 probably scripts this fight somehow, but... Do I really need it, though? I'd rather just fight the bosses right away, man. And yeah, this, is, this this reminds me a lot of the uh, Asmongold build strat that we did. Where you kind of, if you get good RNG, it's scripted. Like, I, I think if she, if she didn't summon there, she probably gets stunned and then, and then just dies. So if, if we get good RNG, I probably just kill. Okay, so at this point, we need to go to Altus, I think. So we'll get the medallions. I think Frost could be useful on Redan, probably. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. So, ever. so yeah, we'll uh, get the medallions. Go to Redan plus twelve. I think is the plan here. Uh, Alden, thanks for the brand new prime maybe, sub, dude. Also, uh, Kishoten, thanks for the brand new prime ever. sub, and Overman, thanks for the uh, brand new prime sub as well. I use Howl of thirteen faith. Uh, Godric's great rune plus two finger heirloom plus faith tier gets you plus twenty stats. Uh, Regal Staff is maybe, not a maybe. legendary armament, no. I'll give you the best not ever. Uh, Faded as well, thanks for the brand new sub. Yeah, should I get a plus 12 for Renala? Like, I, I, I feel like I'd just rather fight her earlier, man.
But a plus 12 probably scripts that fight, I would assume, even without the buffs. But... I don't know. I was gonna go get the Axe Talisman, but I, I'm, you don't need it if you're using Square Off. Guess we actually need this Grace too. So, I wonder if I should uh, get enough decks to wield this thing or just kind of gun through here. I think through can be a tiny bit risky. If if the last if the last like servant chases you to the ladder, that that's something that can happen, but it's I, I don't know. I've only seen it once, I think. Uh Stuba Goop, thanks so much, dude. I meant to grab that, but. Yeah, Dark Moon Dark Moon Greatsword is probably the best weapon in the game. I, I agree with that. Like, I think I've seen this guy chase directly to the ladder, and then... But, like, I don't even think you get hit. I think he just climbs the ladder, and then you just gotta kill him. The memory of Grace out, or fast travel out. Uh, I have an editor, uh, Nawaz. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut right, there's ever. one. Better than balls? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It, but, but it depends... Like, uh, any day of the week, I'd take the balls for a no-hit, for no-hit applications, but overall, Dark Moon Greatsword is probably better. Because, yeah, the, the, the DPS and the poise damage of the Starfist or the balls is, is simply unmatched. So, that's very valuable, of course. But in so many situations, having range on top of Dark Moon Greatsword and insane poise damage already, like insane ranged poise damage with very high damage and frostbite, pretty insane. Uh, Finno, thanks for the brand new prime sub as well. So yeah, for no hit, I take the balls. But if for just overall, I'd like Dark Moon Greatsword is probably better. Okay, I guess we should go grab these. Yeah, Death Poker, I, I don't, I'm not that high on the Death Poker, honestly. I think it's a good weapon when you know exactly how to use it. But, you know, if, if you're just using it randomly, you're going to end up taking so many hits trying to get off the Ash of War and stuff because it's so slow. It's a good weapon because it, its damage potential is pretty high, but that's kind of it. We're not going to have that many talisman slots on this. For a, at least a little bit. I, sh I, I probably should go get the... Um, talisman down here, though, I think, right? So we're going to go warrior jar. We're going to go ritual sword, probably. And then... What else am I forgetting about? Like this one, I guess? Is there not another one I normally use? I get like Axe Talisman, but I'm not going to use that, obviously. Unless I swap my build eventually, which I might. Yeah, Blue Dancer would be very good with this. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to bother with Red Feather. What the hell? Did, he did... I'm fairly certain he just fell straight through the floor. Now I can't get out of here. Maybe, maybe. Please let me leave. I'll give you the best nut ever. Oh fuck, he's tanky as hell. That's weird. All right, let's go. Uh, I guess. We want to go this way because you have to kill Loretta eventually.
I've never seen that before. I'm pretty sure the rat just fell through the floor. Got clipped by its, like, mom or something. Is Scarf the highest poise L2? It, it is not, but it's... So, so the, the one... The one that I immediately think of that's higher is the Dragon King Cragblade, but realistically, it's so much easier to use square off than that and actually get off your, your hits and stuff. Um, but no, it's not it's not the actual highest. I think Dragon King's Cragblade is probably the highest. Because that, that one's like 72 poise damage or something if you land the whole thing. And then, yeah, Ordovis is really high too. Uh, same with, obviously, Wing of Estelle if you hit all the projectiles and stuff. Not sure what beyond that is higher. I mean, even even the uh, Urchi Slam or whatever it's called. That, um, but like even Ground Slam, if you hit every every hit of it, it's really high. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure how much all bubbles are actually. Was the first armament? I I actually don't know yet. Because we haven't gotten any yet. Uh, Unsheath is... Uh, uh, Unsheath is 30. 30 on the strong attack, 15 on the light attack. So it's not quite there. Yeah, I'm going to get Ritual Sword, I think. Since we're not killing Godric, I guess I don't need Runarks. Well, Bernal moves to Volcano when you join Volcano Manor, so you have lots of time to do it. And I'm not, I'm not planning on killing Rykard or Noble on this, so... All you need to do is not join Volcano Manor, I think, right? Unless I'm forgetting things. Like, maybe... Maybe that's actually wrong. Well, at, at the very least, we want a plus 12 before we fight him, so... I would assume we can script him with that. You know what? Another thing I kind of forgot. We're going to want Gambit for uh, for Crucible Duo. I just realized. Because you can... Yeah, you can do a... You can do a stealth strat on them. At least on the opening, which is probably going to like almost guarantee a stun. Or at least a hit. But I, I'm probably going to have to test some things out on that boss because... You want to make sure you're killing them. You're killing the the Crusader before, or not the Crusader, the uh, Misbegotten before the Crucible comes in. Yeah, you can you can gamut Crusader as well. Just get like an extra hit or something. But did I say Crucible duo again? I I don't know why I say that, dude. I <laughs> there's too many duos in the game. Red main duo. Red main duo. I just simply have to remember that. Um, I can't think of any reason why I'd need this grace, but I'll just get it for now. Uh, simply no hit the game, Star Volleyball. Yeah, red main duo. Maybe, maybe. I'll get uh, Dark Rapier, thanks for the twenty-three month resub, dude. Welcome back. Red main duo. But yeah, see, this is kind of the thing I want to avoid before we fight Renala and Red Wolf. So I, I, I'm perfectly fine just fighting them plus six. I think that's good enough. I pick frost over bleed depends totally depends on the build bleed is probably overall better if you want to make a build revolving around it though simply no hit the game after your first playthrough that's basically what i did actually my first playthrough of ds3 played through the game I'll give you the best and then ever. i started doing no hit right after that basically uh, Burning Wave, thanks for the five-month prompt sub as well. Yeah, so the challenge... So all we need to do is collect every legendary armament. That's the whole challenge. 
There are a few restrictions. We're not allowed to use like the iron balls. We can't use the star fist. We can't use any of the, basically any like body buff at all. Um, like, so no golden vow, no flinger, me strength, no howl. Uh, we're just we're just writing this right now, uh, Preen I got to figure out some of the strats for later. And whether or not I, I actually want to go with the just the longsword the whole way through or not. I would like to, but... I'm worried about Estelle, man. Other than Estelle, I, Square Off just cheeses everything, so... I don't know why I grabbed this. It's just the meteorite attack. Such a garbage attack. Maybe, maybe... That I do not trust at all, so... Not ever. Wow. Uh, Pillows, thanks for the 26 month resub as well. Well, you can sort of just go to the left, but it's not really great. It's not perfect to just do that. Oh, yeah, well, I'll probably test some things there and just see. So let's go back to round table. But who knows, man? I, I think a plus 17 with the proper buffs would probably be able to script the fight or or something but i just don't think we're gonna have enough damage um need 11 of those does that find a meteorite skip um what does that mean because I, I know about the, the good combo that you can bait out that basically th will guarantee us a stun, especially with this poise damage we have. But that's not really... Like, that's only a skip if you have enough damage. Which, on this one, I don't know if we will. But, well, I don't know. I, I It's probably about time I test some stuff out there. Alright, so at this point, we're simply just gonna level up. 262. Like strength is still probably better. Which way is better to get to the like usually I go from this way, but it's because I'm getting the buff. Let's go from Faroth, I guess. Just do like the famous human no hit streamer. Dino does and pray for good RNG. Yeah, surely human, dude. Of course. Maybe this way is slower. I, I really don't know. Yeah, Dino smoked me in a SL1 tournament, dude. really need any of this stuff i don't think you know what though we will have access to like rot rot grease which maybe that won't be useful anywhere i don't know it'd be useful against uh ah, actually you know what maybe i should go maybe i should go from here and just like run through this way and get the rot greases i don't mind that Maybe it's a little slower, but... Probably not by that much, actually. Anything in-game that tells you it's poise damage limits? Uh, there's not. But yeah, there's, there, are, there are tools you can use, like Cheat Engine or ER Tool, that... can tell you that information. Darkman Greatsword, yeah, yeah, we need to kill Estelle for Darkman Greatsword. That's why we have to do it. Name of the duo boss, it's Red Main Duo. But you already know, I'm going to say Crucible Duo again, 100%. Ever uh, think about doing a Claws-only no-hit run? 
I mean, I could do that. I've now hit the game with a lot of different weapons at this point, so. I'm sure it'll be, uh, it would be no problem. Like, yeah, that's the, after doing the master run, there's nothing, there's no weapon that would be, okay, maybe not no weapon, but very few builds that would be really tough to no hit the game with for me at this point. Now, a weapon like Vari's bouquet would be fucking brutal, but any normal weapon. Yeah, I've already done whip no hit. I, I did uh, the Arumi no hit already. It's no problem. So any normal weapon that's not a total meme weapon, I could for sure do. You know, it's kind of a shame that you need to die in order to use the warp and raid Lucaria to Volcano Manor because it'd be cool to have that option for a no-hit run. Be able to go through there. It'd be better if it was just you kill the enemy and you could just warp or something. Uh, Bloodhound Fang is... Bloodhound Fang, I think, is a very good casual playthrough weapon or first playthrough weapon because... You can spam the Ash of War, which does very good damage, and you also get iframes, so... So yeah, it's a very good, like, casual playthrough weapon, for sure, or first playthrough weapon. Which is, I think that's part of the reason why they gave it to people so early. Because, yeah, you just spam it, and you, and, you know, you're gonna get hit sometimes, but it's got good hyper armor. But then you also just get a ton of iframes on the follow-up, so you can, you can actually just spam it all day long, and most of the time you're gonna evade the hits. For a good amount of the time. So. Uh, I guess... I guess I got the stamina tier, which I can throw in here. Yeah, for, for like a no-hit or... For a no-hit run, Bloodhound Fang is definitely not the best weapon. It's it's not terrible, but it's not amazing. So I could use a Rot Grease here. I'm not sure if we really need it, though. Let's go, Timmy. No, I haven't done a flail no hit run. I don't think that'd be hard though. Flails are actually pretty solid, like for a jump attack build. Power stance jump attacks are pretty good on them. Uh, Wing of Estelle is just a better weapon, probably overall. Uh, Rigu, but yeah, I mean, there'd be so some fights where the... Uh, some fights where Reduvia would be better, but overall Wing of Estelle is for sure a better weapon. I think, at least. Okay, so if I want to use a Rock Reese, so we're then, and then Morgoth for sure I'm going to want it. I, I don't think, I don't even think Rod's going to be able to proc on Estelle. Maybe like the Misbegotten Crusader? I, I don't know. Let's just, I, I'm going to fight this a few times. Let's see if Rot is worth it or not. But the damage might be just too high to even bother with it. No, Reduvia is not bad at all. But I would, I would take Wing of Estelle easily. Yeah, Estelle is really resistant, especially like when we have a build that... It, we, we kind of want to treat a square off build like a, a big weapon build, sort of. It doesn't really hit a lot, but we have a ton of poise damage. 
I shouldn't have done that. Oops. Oh. Be able to get another run off here. How's the boss not stunned yet? Might have like eaten my stun. Here we go. Not really sure how much rot would do here. I could probably justify using a rock grease here. Might it might like kind of speed up that phase two a tiny bit. Let's just try it. I uh, I haven't fought the red main duo yet. They would be much later. We want to make sure we have enough damage to. Uh, Kill the misbegotten at least before the other one comes down. And he's so weak to rot. Can we just do our ones here so I don't... Like, I might have already reset his poise. I'm not sure. Whoops. <laughs> Insane punch, dude. I should be two-handing this so that I can cancel or do the, the block cancels. I would say that's worth it, probably. Basically makes there no phase two at all. Let's go Nixon. No, it doesn't end the rot proc. It just he he gets iframes when he's in when he's like not loaded in or whatever. So. Okay. Uh, so let's go to round table. Get the talisman slot. We could easily not use a rock grease there, though, if um, if I need it somewhere else. Okay, so let's level up, and we'll go uh, kill. Or if we just keep going more strength, more endurance honestly would be decent. But uh, let's just say fifty strength. We'll get Ritual Sword. I'm going to put this back up here. Practice. Yeah, I've already done this, uh, Redacted, but it, it's there's extra restrictions for, for the bounty, so... No music? Oh, shit, you guys haven't heard the music this entire time. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Whoops. At least the Twitch people haven't. Oh, and, and YouTube, obviously, but YouTube's used to it. And I was, like, jamming out this whole time maybe, to, uh... Maybe 
I'll give you the best the synthwave playlist. <laughs> Nobody could hear it. <laughs> uh, Bolt, thanks for the three-month prime sub, dude. I appreciate that. I think I had it muted last time because of the uh, casual playthrough or whatever. Yeah, maybe one day there's going to be like YouTube will add a way that I could separate the, the audio tracks on YouTube so I can actually play music in the YouTube streams. But if I if I play music in them, they just instantly get copyrighted. So. So we are plus 12. Um, yeah, so we're going to cheese more god. I guess I forgot about gold 3 too. Never realized Gillica is a dog. Mm, is Gillica really a dog? I, <laughs> I, I don't know. No, bounty doesn't mean there's money maybe, as a reward. Maybe, it, well, at least I don't think. Best not ever. I think it just implies there is a reward. Maybe. But I don't even know if there is for this. But it's more of just like a challenge that people can work on. Yeah, I don't think by any means this is the route that I'm going to use for this is like the most optimized route. That is like the best way to do it. But we should be able to get this done pretty quickly. Because I, I just don't feel like I want to get a big setup and all that stuff, you know? Uh, Libby Guns, thanks for the brand new Prime Sub. I appreciate that. Also, Yellow, I don't know if I said thanks for that three-month Prime Sub as well. Oh, you get a title? I don't know. I must have missed that. I, I only screenshotted, like, the actual challenge of it. I didn't really look much past that. Oh, so you get Bounty Hunter role in Discord if you're... Okay, I mean, I got Bounty Hunter role, like, probably four years ago, but... <laughs> I assume... Like, has anybody finished it yet? I assume if, if someone who finishes it already has that, then they just move it to the next person, surely. I probably... I probably... You, you probably have to submit it anyways. I probably won't even do that, so... There sh shouldn't be an issue. Oh, no one has finished it yet. I mean, I guess... I guess it is a little tricky, right? I mean, you gotta fight... I don't know. I mean, yeah, I get. I mean, you don't get you don't get the buffs, right? So, whoa, why is my fucking mouse sensitivity so high? What is that? Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing for sure. You're just not getting the buffs. Do people report copyright music? Yeah, YouTube detects it automatically and then it gets claimed. Like it doesn't it doesn't 
Well, it actually depends, because a lot of my old videos got claimed and then get blocked in certain regions because of it. So that's kind of what I'm trying to prevent, because it, it is very annoying. Like, my, my SO1 all bosses no hit in DS2 is blocked in a lot of countries because I was just, like, playing music during that run, and it's... I don't know. I guess maybe Dex at this point's better, or maybe we just go Endurance, dude. I don't know. Well, like, the thing with how Twitch works is I can play music and then it not show up in the, in the VOD. Right, so if you go to a Twitch VOD right now, there's gonna be no music playing. And, uh... And so, yeah, like, live takedowns are a thing, but I I don't know if I've ever seen one happen to anybody. Maybe to, like, a gigantic streamer maybe, that's possible, maybe. but I'll give you I feel like it's very unlikely. So, so, it's not really a big issue. Uh, Sakian, thanks for the two-month resub. I appreciate that. No, I don't play mouse keyboard. Uh, I, I just, I use it sometimes. Like, when I'm aiming, especially. You know what? I guess now is probably a good time to kill, uh... I, I kind of like having Gambit through here. Uh, we fight Redmain Duo. We just go talk to Jaren. Okay, do we have a kill on this guy? That's good. We're plus 12. We got some buffs. It should be fine. Need a save just in case. Oh. I don't remember what I normally... I think my damage is... a little too high to just do that. We, like, backstab. I, I, I know I had a cane sword kill on this guy. I don't remember what it would be, though. Maybe, maybe it's like tap R2, backstab, and then a square off or something. What's wrong with you? I won't say it twice. I suppose I have no chance. As he would roll that, probably. I don't know, actually, man. I don't know what kill I should do here. Maybe it's that. Yeah, we could just yeah, we could just fight him after Morgoth, I suppose. But I kinda want Gambit through the capital. We don't need it though. What's wrong with you? I won't I suppose I have no you are an enigma. To be certain. All right, there's our first legendary armament. First one. I'm pretty sure that's that's what I have done to him before. Okay, I'm a little disoriented here. I guess it's basically like directly southeast. How many are there? No, there's there's like nine or something. I wonder if we can just kill this guy here and save a bit of time. Maybe we can do the exact same kill. Seems good to me. Yeah, so it's it's the legendary armaments that count as an achievement. 
are the ones that count for this, so. Because, yeah, some of them are gold, like Sacred Relic Swords Golden, but it's not actually legendary armaments, apparently, so. Hello. Uh, we just fight Elmer. That's actually a good point, though. I, I do want Gambit in that area, for sure, so. Yeah, I mean, I've done a no-hit run with the Executioner Greatsword, so I already know how to get through that area, no problem. Okay. Go back here. Yeah, we're just supposed to collect them. We don't actually have to use them. But most people, I think, are using them based on what I've seen. Which may makes sense, but... I just... Usually when you're using somber weapons, you... you you want to do, like, a, a big setup before you fight anything? I, I just don't really want to do that, so... I just want to jump right into fighting the bosses. Although, I guess I could just use a plus four, but... I don't know, man. Scaroff is good. Some of the legendary legendary armaments, like... You would probably want to go Grafted Blade, if you are going to use them. Grafted Blade or Sword of Night and Flame. And... I don't know, like, I, I just think about fighting a Misbegotten. Those aren't really... I mean, the Greatsword would probably be decent on the Misbegotten Crusader, but... I don't know, man. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Domo has announced Bingo Season 3. You joining, champ? Uh, Joe Last, thanks for the 10-month resub, dude. I, I think I will join it, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be... I don't know how much information he's revealed, but... It's meant to be a, uh... A, t a 2v2 one. I'm not really sure. That, I, I think the teams are going to be, like, pre-made and, and balanced based on... Um, just, I, I think, based on the results of the uh, the season, so... so it's going to be a team-based one. It'll, it'll be a bit different. Did I not buy it? Let's go to Netwatch. Yeah, I, I've never seen 2v2 bingo. I've never done it. I, I don't really know what it's going to be like, but... It does seem pretty interesting. Oh, I didn't even get the bell bearing. There we go. Anything else we could need here? I don't think so. <laughs> Me and Edie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the teams are going to be. All right, we got Gambit. Anything else I should get? We just go straight to Morgoth, probably. Ever do PvP streams? I used to do a lot of DS3 PvP, but in Elden Ring, I don't find the PvP as fun, so I just haven't. As much. I've done a few, though. How does 2v2 bingo work? Well, I think I assume it's just... Uh, you have two players, and they have to coordinate and figure out what squares to get. Like, I, I would assume... So, so let's say it's like a four memory stone square, right? Acquire four memory stones... I would assume that means that one person has to get four memory stones out of the two and then you can mark the square rather than like each person needs to get two or something like that. So, so yeah. And, and then you'd, you'd probably be on a call with somebody and trying to coordinate everything, figure out, uh, yeah, like what you should be doing and all that. Oops. I guess I need to sneak there if I shoot at that angle. Oh, bro, why did I rest? I shouldn't have done this. My utmost for bringing beer, and thus I shall do farewell. I shall leave. I wish you. You have. I have no.
Yeah, 2v2 bingo, I think, um... I think it will be pretty difficult. There's no there's no way it would be as serious as the other two bingo seasons, though, probably. Just because, like, in a team setting, there's a lot more things out of your control. That still sounds like it'll be pretty fun. I'm not sure when it'll be. Um, maybe like sometime next month. Lightning Slash would be very good on this boss, but... Rolf's good too. I think Thrusting is good on this fight. No, you don't get to pick your partner, because, yeah, I, I don't think that'd be super balanced. I assume it's going to be based on the, like, the placements of the previous seasons. Like, assuming, I, I'm not sure if everybody will be back, but it'll probably be something like that. It's not bad damage. Not insane though, but he's gonna be stunning. That's the thing with square off, dude. It's like, even if the damage per hit isn't even that crazy high, when you stun a boss every three hits, and all of a sudden it's pretty high. Okay, so I, I may use a Rot Grease here. This, it, Morgot... Morgot with Square Off is such a joke, dude. It's so funny. Good system would be players... Have players rank each other. That would certainly work, too. Yeah, if you... Uh, like, some anonymous ranking, maybe, and then... Yeah, that, that's actually a really good idea. Oh, you're right. I forgot the bolt. That's a good point. I'll probably grab it at the end, though. But I just I just need to pick up that grace down there. I'll just run back later. Because we don't... We're not going to be killing Fire Giant, so... Also, I wasn't even full health there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Maybe I was, because I had the Source Seal. Maybe we should have leveled up, but I really think we need to. So yeah, I'll, I'll use a rock grease here, but I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I got to use it somewhere. Power square off, of course. <sighs> we really... Like, I, I could save Rock Reese there very easily. Maybe I'll fight him again without it. Just to see if it changes literally anything. But the, this was the strat that I came up with for the level 1 plus 0 no-hit route. It, it's part of the reason why I actually decided to do it on NG plus 7, so that this wouldn't be possible.
is one of the main reasons for that. Ah. Oh. What am I doing? If I could hit the boss, that would be great. go. You know what? I actually do seem to remember him being able to dash or something there. And, and you know what's so funny about score off too is it literally it takes eight fp <laughs> to do uh to do the strong attack eight fp for 40 poise damage so i i literally have base mind right now and i just like i i whiffed how many hits there a few didn't even level up for the fight okay so now at this point um So, so we go upgrade, obviously. But then after that, like... Probably want to do Nile next, I guess. But yeah, that 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 is one of the main reasons why I, d I wanted to do the master run instead of just doing like level one plus zero like so so basically adding in edgy plus seven it's good there's there's just way too many bosses in the game where you can just do that to them you know they have 80 poise and you just square off twice or you know the, the, a lot of other things can do that to, to minor bosses as well like uh stamp uppercut or stamp sweep or you know there's a lot of things But just Square Off can do that to the main bosses also. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, there's no Fire Giant on this run. There's no need to fight him. Because we don't need anything past, past him. This is a rare no-hit run where we're not actually beating the game. The only goal is to get all of the legendary armaments. That's it. We have one. We have one so far. So, so yeah, we're going to kill Commander Nile. Um, we probably just want to go fight the Crusader, like, immediately, right? Because he, you know, he's a... He's a trickier fight than Leonine, that's for sure. Because he's he's more aggressive and he follows up more combos. I think Square Off is going to just destroy him, though. Obviously, he's got 80 poise. And Square Off against the the misbegotten enemies, it it staggers. It has, like, a, the micro staggers on it. So, like, that's why I'd be, I would be concerned using smaller weapons, like the Spike Cestus on a, on a misbegotten, because I'm not sure if you get those micro staggers also that allows you to retreat and get out of distance. But yeah, so I think we kill Commander Nile. We go to Halig well, go to the Snowfield, get the Golden Order Greatsword, and then maybe, from there the run's maybe. basically done. Like we just have to kill Estelle after that. Like so, it's a pretty short run, dude. It should be only be like an hour and a half or so, or less even. Uh, Scoop, thanks for the brand new prime sub. I appreciate that. How's it going, Fox? Yeah, this run this, it, it seemed pretty cool. It seemed like a cool uh, challenge so i wanted to do it maybe maybe i'll give you the best uh danapu thanks for the uh 23 month resub as well welcome back i'm not really sure what to level up next maybe just dex and we, we don't even have an infusion on this thing 
But that that is one of the, the downsides of, of using square off is that um the square off ash of war is in a very in, inconvenient location, so and, and you need, obviously, the Ash of War to put an affinity on it, which is really dumb, by the way, but that's just how this game works. You sh In my mind, you should be able to... I feel like it's an oversight, even, but you should definitely be able to put an Ash of War or put an affinity on a weapon without changing the Ash of War on it. I think. Like, just keep the Ash of War and then just use the wet blade, but... For some reason, you cannot do that. Yeah, it's in that uh, chauffeur. Yeah, it's at the uh, kind of where underneath the dragonkin is, sort of. Quite out of the way. I think for the cane sword no hit run I did, I did actually go and get it. And it is, it, it would be like, it adds a lot of damage, right? Obviously putting a heavy infusion on this. So what can I get to here? We we only like this bell bearing is the plus. I I don't even remember, dude. Is it the plus or plus twelve? So plus eighteen, and then we have two seven, so we can get a plus nineteen. Like plus nineteen should be good enough. I feel like, dude. Which weapon has the easiest no hit? I think uh, iron balls probably. Although when I did a no hit run the, with the cane sword, it was very easy as well, but not not on the same level. Also, Scoop, I don't know if I said thanks for that uh, for any prime stuff, dude. I appreciate that. So yeah, let's uh, go up here. Get a plus nineteen. Make sure I don't aggro the bird. We should have gone back to round table there. Yeah, the runs probably will be quite a bit longer when the DLC comes out. Cause yeah, all those all those sort of like meme runs I do, you know, like the strength only that I just did and all that stuff. I I gotta do the DLC with it, right? So yeah, those are gonna end up being at least a bit longer, which I'm like I as far as I'm concerned, that's that's good. The runs are fun, and they're just going to last longer, so. I'm just going to have to spend some extra time in the dungeon, though, apparently. Okay, so let's go kill Commander Niall, then. Any other talisman slot makes sense here? I mean, there's the green turtle talisman, but... Blue Dancer, maybe, probably. Maybe. I just don't know if it's worth going maybe to get Blue Dancer. Not ever. That that actually would be well you, useful. Uh, Command, thanks so much for the two-month Prime sub. Welcome back. Uh, No, I, I've gotten hit a few. Like, we're just routing this right now, so... Trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I mean, it's very straightforward to this point. Very straightforward. I'm just... The only thing I'm really worried about is Estelle. And I'll have to make sure I remember how to fight the Crusader as well, I guess. Yeah, this is where a somber weapon... I mean, I guess the whole time a somber weapon pulls away, but... You'd be able to get a plus 9 very easily by this point. Like, well before this point, actually. I, I assume that's what most people will do. Get, like, a plus 9 Sword of Night and Flame or Graft a Blade or something like that. And then fight Morgoth with it. Like, Kill Dan, maybe plus, plus 6. And then you just go to Lake of Rot. Get, get your 7... 
eight and nine in Kaled or in Lake of Rod, I guess. And then go from there. So I, I I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Like the the thing is, I don't I don't need the upgrade. I don't think. I feel like I don't need it. We still have two rock Reese's, but I I, I probably will use one on Morgoth. Uh, Deadpool, thanks for the hundred bits, dude. Uh, good luck with the uh, basic training, dude. Hopefully, it goes well. When will I do a no-hit guide? Mm. A long time ago, I said I was going to do it when I was confident the game will like stop being patched. Which I guess probably at this point is probably the case, but... I don't know. Maybe eventually I'll make one. I reach and kill Moog easily. The Probably the fastest way to kill Moog is kill Godric and then do the very quest. If that's what you mean. Oh, you can just kill Bernal early, as uh, Suvi for it. Maybe I should have bought some throwing knives or something. I guess we have to pick this up here. Not sure what strat I'm gonna do here. Like, I got I got the Thank bewitching you, branches, so I'll give you the best nut ever. can't really go wrong with that. But yeah, we have a little more options. This actually have damage. I could just backstab this guy. I can actually kill him. Done? Ah. Uh. I'm not sure if a square off on wake up is safe. And I, I, I'm not sure also, can I do a square off here? Here, maybe? That might be like a little dangerous, but goodbye. Actually, he's pretty tanky, man. I thought I was going to kill him right there, but. Just poke him. Up. 
but not quite fast enough. That, that's kind of too bad. But I guess he wouldn't have stunned anyways, though. Because he's got he's got like 105 poise. I kind of <laughs> for some reason I was thinking he had 80. If I wanted to, I could also be witching branch this guy, like using the same strat as the master run kill. Let's see how he does. I mean. Sometimes he's getting destroyed. There's certainly a case for using Rot on this kill. I think it's probably more... It would be better to use Rot here than on a boss like, uh, like Morgoth or something. Because he's pretty tanky. I'm, I'm going to use Rot here, I think. wonder if I should also grab a... Uh, Starlight chart for Morgoth. Like, just in case it goes wrong. Because I, I did nearly run out of FP last time. Like, especially if I'm not using Rot. See how much this speeds us up. Right, so there it is. I don't know, does it really speed it up that much? Maybe saves like one hit.
I think this is this is the boss order I'm thinking. We kill the Crusader. Next. Kill Crusader next. And then that 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 might change. Whoops. That might change depending on how I'm feeling about Estelle. Maybe maybe with this setup. Best not ever. Uh Lena, thanks for the uh Brandon Prime sub. I appreciate that. Also, thanks for the 100 bits again, uh, Deadpool, dude. And thanks for the also the five-month resub <laughs> as well. Thanks, Deadpool. Please, no. Actually, there are still quite a few bosses we have to kill, right? Like Crusader, and then we got to kill the Mimic. And then Estelle, and then Loretta. Like there's still there's still a few bosses to fight, and and Leonine, of course, who I've not fought yet. Are there any um, are there any somber sevens in this area or eights? Like there must be somewhere. Oh yeah, I wait. There's actually there's a bunch in a statue. Oh man, I definitely need more cuckeries at some point. We kind of go there whenever because we have to go down to Leonine anyway, so. Yeah, there, there definitely are some that we could grab. That I can think of. There's one next to a tree. But I think those are eights. We also need some sevens. I'll just check the map genie. Is it going chicken talon? Let's go check. Map Genie kind of isn't always perfect, though. I feel like, but maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah, so there's three eights. Oh, I know. I, the color's different. And the statue. Where is this one? Is this in the same room as the painting? Three sevens, because right now we're plus 19, so we need 10 more. Like, that's kind of a lot. Like, are we really going to find 10 more? Underground, are there maybe some? All fucking somber stones everywhere. One smithing stone, seven. Ah, oh, man, it's so fucking unbalanced. It's like, yeah, here's a couple. Here's one smithing five and four, and one smithing six and seven. And then here's also your somber nine, your somber, I guess this is upper, somber seven. Somber 8, another Somber 7, another Somber 8. Which you only need one of, by the way. We could go to the sewer. Actually, yeah. I, I... 
I, I'm the only boss that I would really want the upgrade for is Estelle. That's the only one that I think I could use it. But if I want to be really efficient, it'd definitely be faster just not upgrade. Be a lot faster. I still haven't used Frost anywhere, by the way. Um, we could use Frost on Rodan. I, I got a couple of greases, but I just never made. Never made them. Oh, um. So where maybe 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 this is where sleep could come in, but I'm the squid here. I usually sleep them. I'm just thinking too. Actually, I don't really have a good strat through the dungeon with all the jellyfish, so I have to make sure I can go through there safely. Yeah, maybe this will be a little bit longer than I thought. Maybe like 145. I was thinking an hour and a half initially, but. Uh, K Dob, by the way, thanks for the brand new sub. Oh my god, random fucking crossbow bolt coming through. Lord's Sword and Sword, op better option. Well, you got to farm that, right? So, not really. You didn't have to farm it then, maybe. No, that's the uh, that's a gate uh, great sword, a zodiac. The actual Lord Sworn sword, I think, is just dropped from the knights. All right, I'm just here for some cuckeries for now. Yeah, we could we could go with like broadsword or something too, but yeah, they're they're basically the same. Broadsword just does a bit more damage for more stamina consumption. I right, just got a few of these. We go with the the turtle shell also, I guess, if I wanted more stamina. But I, I don't think I'll bother. Okay, back here we go. Marlo, thanks for the 19 month prime sub, dude. Not sure what strat I'm going to do for the squid here. Probably just cuckery and sneak past or something. How's it going, Hugo? Uh, what's the best offhand dagger? Um, It's really hard to say, actually. Surely I have stone sword keys. All right, so th this area is is maybe the biggest question mark, and and I think there are some upgrades in here as well, but maybe I'm misremembering. I might be misremembering. Oh, there's some freezing grease in here. That's good. Maybe I don't need the, the crafting then. I thought one of these items on the sides were... Maybe not.
All right, so for these jellyfish, though, what I've done on previous runs is just kill them with range. But we don't really have that luxury this time. Unless I want to get some, like, consumables or something. Sneaking an option here? I'm pretty sure that guy aggroed there. And I know these guys for a fact do not, apparently. <laughs> I thought they did if you snuck past them, but... More freezing grease. I could have sworn those guys aggro to you, but maybe it's RNG or something. Okay, a rod grease here is surely the play. Let's see. I, I'm gonna have to practice this guy a bit. Sure, Forget, like remember what the openings are. Is this guy, this guy's pretty nasty. Like here's gonna stomp or do some follow up. I can cancel this, I think. Pretty solid damage, though. Go here, I think. Just stun. Man, see, this is what I, this is why part of the reason why I wanted to go with this setup because square up is so good on these guys. Probably do a square off here. Uh, that was not safe, I guess. One here. Okay, so maybe no rot <laughs> because it looks like we're not even gonna proc it. Destroy, dude. And no rot here. Maybe a frost, though, but a frost is probably about the same. Yeah, square off is so good. I just, I, I felt like other weapon options on this fight might have been a bit more awkward. Just because, like, with the grafted blade, you're probably going to be mid rolling, and you do not want to mid roll on these guys. That is a huge mistake. You guys remember I did a whole stream of, like, fighting this fucking guy? And I was testing mid roll setups. It probably just uppercut this, I guess. Okay, that's a bit too slow. It's just uppercut on that one. Like that one one thing that is nice, I can just interrupt a lot of his attacks. Pretty solid for a plus 19 with no buffs, basically, huh? <laughs> it's definitely not bad. Stunning every two hits, basically. I wonder if that actually works right there. Uh, Instant quit out is part of ER tool, yeah. I kind of forgot I can do extra hits in between. So Frostbite does do something, so I might, I, there's no reason to not use it here. Oh, that's a sweet kill, dude. So easy. Need some more water pretty soon. I, I am hoping I can finish this run today, but... It's actually, the run's a bit longer than I thought it would be, so I, we might not be able to finish it today. Like, it's going to be like an hour 45 or two hours or so, so. So I'll just uppercut him here, I guess. Oh, that does work. That's beautiful, dude. Oh. <laughs> That's nice, man. Let's go, nice. God, I love square off, dude. I could probably even do extra hits in between. Like, do a square off and then just R1 after. Let me try it.
You quit out when falling yesterday so you didn't lose your runes? Yeah, you're learning. That's like... That's how you know. When you start quitting out successfully after falling, that's how you know you've, like, played Souls games too much, basically. That is exactly how you know. Either you're a speedrunner or you've just played them too much. Can I do an extra hit after? Might be a little bit risky if he does the double claw, so maybe I should just not do that. I have no stamina. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so that would suck. I don't really have a good feel for how much range that AoE has, because I, I usually don't go anywhere near it. Yeah, it's probably safest to just not do an extra hit after. Okay, maybe I won't do that. <laughs> because now... It's good though, but... I'm scuffing it. It would suck to lose a run off of that, because it just... It's... It's not needed, but it is a great... It is a very good punish though. What the f Oh my god? <sighs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> I think he actually is kind of ducking underneath it or something. It definitely looked like it on that one. Okay, maybe I'll just play it safe and not do that. Oh, he gets... Okay. Well, there, you, there it is, I guess. Interesting how he gets hyper armor on that one, but not some of the other ones. What if I roll into the AoE? But then maybe I wouldn't have enough time... Yeah, this guy's actually like Millennia, dude. He's a monster. Random hyper armor. No way. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dodge that properly and then um uppercut, I guess. It, it is unfortunate because the uppercut does 30 poise damage. And so if I if I do if I do a, you know an R two square off and then into an uppercut, it's not a poise break. So there's a obviously a gamma strat you can do on this guy where you just go around, like you can sneak basically around the arena. And then get behind them. You can also sleep them. Like that, I, I think on uh, not sure what run it would have been. Like all achievements or or what? But I got. I definitely did it in multiple runs where I would do that sort of strat. Like sneak around the arena, get a script on them. But I, I don't want to do this run trying to like cheese stuff. I just want to learn and then win. Probably just do like a rolling attack there. Rip the poise.
Maybe I don't need to doom this early. Like, maybe I should do a stell earlier than this guy because he goes so smoothly with this. Anyways, uh, so let's go to a stell. Doesn't really matter the order here, I guess, but... I might do him later than that. Like, that that's a pretty simple fight with this. Oh, yeah, um... I wonder if I should set up, like, a lightning pot here or something. But there's no way that's worth it. Without without any of the buffs, I highly doubt a fire pot would work here. Is there going to be a race to no hit the DLC? Well, I mean, there probably will be. Yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of people that come back to Elden Ring to no hit it first or whatever, but I'm going to be taking my absolute sweet time on that DLC playthrough, so... It's just, it's just like when the game came out. I had no goals on getting it first. I just wanted to, like, play the game. And then when I was ready to start no-hitting it, I would start no-hitting it, so. Because it would, like, it's not, in my opinion, with a game like this, it's not worth ruining a playthrough <laughs> so that you can no-hit it first, you know? <laughs> so... I don't know. And and no hitting at first doesn't Like sure, there there is certain, definitely some prestige in no hitting at first, I think. Being the first one to do it. Um But that's really it. Like there's not really any other benefit to doing it. You would think the world's first clickbait is really good, but it's kinda not. And I think that's kind of proven by my no hit runs when the game came out. Cause I, I had two no hit runs I did. And n none of them were first of, 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 like, any sort. Like, I was the second person to know hit the game, I think. And then I did a run after that, and they both did really well on YouTube without having, like, world's first clickbait in it, I think, so. It's not, like, it's not really... It doesn't really help. And th that's a mistake I made when Sekiro came out, because I was like, oh, yeah, th this might be a chance that I can try to, like, get some views on YouTube or something. <laughs> and, uh... Not quite. So yeah, for sure in a game like this, though, it's it's not... I don't think it's worth... Uh, oh! Okay, wait. I thought I thought I just gave him arrows. I don't think it's worth... Um, I don't think it's worth it. All right, so we're just here for the uh, Finger Slayer Blade. Every streamer saying they're taking their time to enjoy the DLC secretly wish to be first to beat it. I mean, yeah, I, I would still, I think it would still be cool to, to be first to do it, right? But yeah, there's no question about it. But I don't think it, like, basically what I was saying, I just don't think it's worth it. But yeah, I, I, I I would still want both, ideally. But the thing that I think is probably more important to me is just actually playing through the DLC properly the first time. Because because the other the alternative is, you know, you play the game the entire time trying to kind of like rush through it so that you can start no hitting it, right? Like that's <laughs> that's kind of what what you would do. In some cases, not even actually finish the playthrough or, you know, just go, like, straight into no-hit routing it, which I've done before. Like, when I when I first no-hit ES1, I had never even properly played the game before that. I just went straight to no-hitting it, but that, that wasn't because I was trying to be first to no-hit it, obviously. 
Um, but yeah, I remember my first playthrough was Kiro. I, I enjoyed the game. I took a few days to beat it, but the entire time I was just trying to think about like no hit strats and stuff, basically. So. I guess I never killed... I, I should do Loretta first before this. It makes way more sense. The reason why this run takes so long is because there's so much running around for this stuff. First playthrough, uh, you think you're going to go in super low level to actually have fights? I, I, I'm kind of conflicted on that because on one hand, I think going plus zero through there would be fun. But at the same time, I want to get the intended experience also. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a, like, a really long stream when it comes out. Oh yeah, Sword of Night and Flame, you're right. Should probably make it properly nighttime here. Cause yeah, I think I think going through plus zero would be cool, but it's not the intended experience, so. I think I'll probably just play it normally. You know what though? Like, I, what I should actually do is just go get all this, all the legendary armaments after we finish the run. That's probably what I should be doing, because uh, I'm not going to be using this here. So, yeah, we'll go get all that stuff after, like the bolt of grand sacks and and this one, the ones that we just go and pick up. Probably just grab those after. Unless it's like the Eclipse uh, shuttle, which is directly on route. Red main duo still alive, yeah. Yeah, hopefully we have a good strat for them. Our damage on on the Crusader seemed pretty good, and the duo version definitely has way less health than that. A strength infusion would be really huge, though. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we this this run doesn't require us to beat the game. It, it only requires us to get the legendary armaments. And once we get the last one, then the run's complete. Have the scarab uh, with square off. I mean, it it is pretty far of the way still, but I I, I could yeah. probably would add quite a lot of damage being a heavy infused
Oh man, what is gonna happen on Estelle though? Is the question. I'm so scared of that meteorite attack. It's quite con consistent to dodge, but it's it's not like perfect. So. Oh, we, we don't need to use them, Jack, for the, the bounty. It's it's The only requirement is to get them. Thou must have, though I have no intrigue. Mm. Wilt thou end? I am the that I might well. I thou wert aid. I require I antis Yeah, remember when I said an hour and a half, and, that, and then I said an hour 45? <laughs> now even saying two hours seems like it's... To be fair, we are routing, so the, probably two hours is actually what it's going to be when we finish this. Oh my god, what the hell happened? Well, it's not like the meteorite attack is, is hard to... It's not a reaction-based attack. It's just the... Uh, the meteorites are random, and they don't behave the same way every time. And the ones that go after you and track you, usually three, but sometimes you just get hit by a stray one or like bad things can happen. Kill before meteorite attack. Yeah, hopefully that's what we can do. Doing Darkmoon Greatsword route. Um, I just. Darkmoon Greatsword route doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Well, okay, let me think about it. So you'd have to... It's just, I, I just... There's not enough bosses on this run for it to make sense, I don't think. And Square Off is probably better for this application anyways. Realistically. Like, what would I rather use for the Misbegotten Crusader? Darkmoon Greatsword or Square Off? I, I'd probably take Square Off, honestly. But it wouldn't be that big of a difference. And for Morgoth, I mean, both are good, but Scruff is so easy. And it's just, yeah, it's so efficient. So that's, Scruff is the first thing I thought of for this run because of the 80 poise bosses that we fight. But yeah, I, I've considered how Grafted Greatsword would go. I think that's not a great choice. I've considered Wing of Estelle. I think that's also not a great choice because we're not allowed to do the skip. So... It means you have to kill Redan before that. And like you you would probably want whatever weapon you're gonna, gonna use before Redan, I would imagine. Um, and then, you know, there's also Sword of Night and Flame, which I would rather square off in basically every case in, on this run, I think, so. I'll give you the best nut ever. Thanks for keeping me alive, Gino Makama. Uh, Menace, thanks for the three-month Prime sub. Welcome back. Yeah, this is fun for me. Yeah, doing the routing part is the most fun thing for me to do, so. I have a bunch of levels, obviously, but I, I don't even know what to upgrade with because the scaling we have on our sword is not that good. And so even getting an extra 20 levels right now is like, it's not really going to change that much. All right, so we actually do. Oh, we got to kill the. Uh, oh, shit. I didn't even think about it. We got to kill the guy. Square off is good for him. Oh boy, two hours is looking not as realistic now. Even more so. Yeah, we might just have to finish this run tomorrow. Not the routing, but I mean just 
I was kind of I was kind of ho hoping I would just be able to get this today, but the run was maybe a bit too long for that. Yeah, I've already killed Renala. Yeah, I killed Redan and Renala as my two great runes because there's there's no reason to kill any other one. Basically. So Renala is the first one I'm gonna kill. And then, yeah, and then I fight Redan after that. Plus twelve. No, I'm not going to kill Margit. There's no point. At least I, I can't think of any reason to fight him. We, we only... I'm only using three talisman slots right now. We could... If I got blue dancer charm... That would be a pretty substantial boost in damage. But obviously that takes some time. But yeah, Blue Dancer Charm, like, obviously the Straight Sword's really light, so it's a perfect build to go with it. I could, that, that could be something I do. But even then, I still wouldn't kill, I still wouldn't kill Margot for that. I would just, I would just wait until Morgoth to go with, like, the extra Radagon Sword Seal or something. No, I don't think this is 2.30 pace. I, I think the run, when, when I'm actually doing this, will probably be like two hours. Because we only have to kill Estelle. Kill Leonine. Okay, maybe even more than two hours, but... We have to kill Estelle, kill Leonine, and then kill Redmain Duo. And I think that's it. So... Yeah, it'll likely be right around two hours, I think. There's a lot of extra stuff you got to do here, right? Like, there's so much talking to NPCs and all this stuff. Oh, or is it Uthai? I hadn't expected now the perform eliminate the name of Raiwun. Blue tan Blue Dancer Charm would be good, though. I could do an uppercut there. Oh boy, did I make a save for that? It just backstab and then square off. Surely two heals is enough to get through here. Uh, 
Uh, Red Feather is stronger. Red Feather is an extra 10% over Ritual Sword. But it's also less convenient to set up, obviously, so. It's actually going to be kind of close here. One talisman that wouldn't be bad on this, obviously, is the uh, filigree talisman. We could pick that up. No, you don't have to kill Margaret for that. No, uh, we can go get it right now. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Well, yeah, we... Yeah, we kill Morgoth anyways, of course. Morgoth is a required boss on this. Uh, Todd, thanks for the brand new Prime stuff, dude. Like, we, we would just go get it whenever I want. Whenever it's available. But I'm just, I'm just trying to think of, like, things that I could even put in this last slot, because Square Off only takes 8 FP. Okay, here we go. It's probably the fight that I am the most concerned about. Just because all the all the other boss on this run are pretty... Like, we have Red Wolf in, in Renala, but we're going to fight them pretty early, so... Very unlikely that's enough for a one cycle. Just maybe like try to set up the damage. what I was looking for. Like, let's just see how close we get here. Let's go on ace. I kind of wish they made the uh, meteorite attack only happen at like low HP instead of fucking like 60% or whatever it is. How on earth is that not a stun?
Is but is there hyper armor in the teleport? Really? Why did I think there wasn't? I could have sworn you could stun out of that. Because that is 100% a stun right there. Like, it has to be. Boss has 120 poise. Those were three headshots. Yeah, it makes sense, but I, I could have sworn I'd just remember stunning the boss out of teleports before, but maybe I was just slightly too late. Well, you would think it's two square offs, but Estelle has a bit of, uh, like, poise resistance, so... Uh, Main, thanks so much for the uh, donation. I appreciate that. That sucks. Just see how much this combo does. Oh my god, just the whiffs all day long. Jesus, dude. I wonder if the FP got consumed there or not. It's really hard to see, like, what which one is going after you. I just want to try some, some other dodges because I, I haven't really tried them before. But what's probably going to happen with Vow is that you just, you use it, iframe one, and then get blasted by the other one. That's probably what happens. How did that miss? I hate rolling in on these attacks because the hitboxes are so fucking bad on the arms. Oh, well, look at this. Actually, we're close to the wall, so now... Now we don't even really have to worry about the teleports and the meteorite attack. So we're against the wall. Oh my god, how is that fast enough? That's crazy how that's fast enough. Yeah, yeah, you could just go go left or whatever, go in a direction and dodge it. I just I just hate it though. I don't really think it's if there, if there was a way to force Estelle to the side of the arena every time, I'd probably want to do that. Oh. How much, how much HP do, do the meteorites start at?
Oh my god, that was fucking close. I just... The reason I do not like this boss at all is because of all these garbage zoning attacks. It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna back up and... Not let you do anything. Four thousand. It's really that low? Because right now the boss is about seventy thousand. Are you sure it's that low? I feel like right now they're happening. Yeah, so this is at 6,003. Like, it's... What's 60% of 11,170? Oh, I see what you're saying, Like, So, damage dealt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know what? If I actually can get that whole combo off, I probably could kill the boss. And then, if I'm a bit short, and maybe Blue Dancer, but... I don't know. I really do not like strats like that, though. I, I despise them, in fact. I hate strats that require a certain amount of damage. Yeah, for Master Run, I, I don't know what the strat is here yet. Oh, look at that juicy counter hit, dude. Okay, so we'll say that's probably about good. I will. I mean, I probably do a lot more hits. Actually. Yeah, we'll say that's good. I do wonder if there would be a good way to force the boss towards a wall, though. Because then, if you're against a wall, then you're golden. It's kind of like the Twin Princes strat, a little bit. Like, you go against a wall, and then the boss doesn't know how to teleport, um, like, away, basically. We should get double bite. There it is. Oh, it helps if I don't get trapped against the wall. That easily would have killed. Ever happened to me against LMBs? You start the fight literally on top of him. Not that specifically, but I've definitely had situations where I'm fighting Elden Beast when I come into the fight and I get teleported. Like a little zip I do or something. I hate this boss, man. Oh my god, we easily have enough damage, dude. Okay, so let's let's try to do that combo from full HP just to see how much damage we deal. So we can e very easily skip meteorites. Very easily. We don't even need blue dancer charm. Like how much blue dancer at this weight at 6.1 weight. That well, I guess it'd be a slightly higher than that, but that's a 
you know, that's a pretty significant chunk of damage you're getting. That would add a lot of damage. I'm not going to have enough stamina for this. Just kidding. So, we dealt around... Nine thousand damage. Um, actually, it, it was almost... Basically, exactly nine thousand damage. So, okay. So, we can, we can basically deal, like, three... Let's say we get, like, 3k damage, and then we just go for the kill. We don't, we don't have to, like, try to get it close to the percentage or whatever. Unless I just want to just deal with the meteorite attack. I just, it's such a garbage attack, man. I just really don't like it. I think, I think the strat for the master run here is likely going to have to do with fighting him around the walls. Like, bait him to the wall. So yeah, like three square offs, basically. Three square offs. And now we're just waiting for that big combo, which is this one. Except I didn't bait it out properly. I still do want to try Val the Indomitable. I just want to see what happens. Dude, like, I see the one that's coming at me just too late. Ah, oh, man. I just see it too late. It's so hard to tell, man. Look at this, dude. I love just simply waiting on a boss fight. Boulders actually are very hard to see though because there's some there's so much happening. God, that was so fucking close again.
That's what we'll do. Three square offs. And then uh, just wait for the combo. We don't even have to strafe because we're using such a fast... Like other weapons, you want to strafe the bite usually because... You know, they might not have enough range, but then also they might just not be fast enough. In this case... We don't even have to. We could just roll it. It makes it a lot easier to bait it out, actually. Where did he flee, my Come out. Okay, well, so that's all, that's all we need for Dark Moon Greatsword, so we wouldn't go get it yet. Oh, I could I could get Green Turtle Talisman, yeah, or or the shield also. We get both very easily. Okay, so this boss. I really hope we have a nice kill here, dude. Also, was someone saying you can use Gambit on the Crucible Knight as well? Yeah, our damage is certainly high enough. Whoops, I forgot you can't do that. I wonder if we want to parry him. I can phase two parrying is actually good. Because then you just avoid the spin memes. That was a horrible roll. We go get blue dancer charm. I don't know, man. I, I I don't know if it's worth it. We clearly don't need it anywhere. Oops, I forgot to use Gambit. I'm curious about this though. Let's see. So if I bring the misbegotten back here. Now, the thing is you do want a big area to fight this guy in though. But if I have Gambit on. Nah, he doesn't care. I just want to see that. Maybe if I was like sneaking or something, but not really super realistic. Oh, that's right. I need to do an uppercut on that one, I guess. Okay, well, I'm not too concerned about this fight now. I was I was concerned that our damage wasn't going to be high enough, but it's it definitely is.
I wonder, so with when you're using um there's a really good strat with this like fighting this guy with parries with the Uchi where you You like I'm gonna try some parries. I would probably want to get a better parry than just well This is a medium shield. I don't know. I'm probably not going to parry him, I guess. But yeah, I could grab Golden Parry, and then that probably would make him a bit better in Phase 2. Because what you do is, you, I think you parry, and then you can... Maybe maybe it's not fast enough to do a square off. I, I don't know, man. I can't remember. So we got to uppercut this one, I guess. Yeah, this is this is no problem. And we're like Actually what I mean, I was gonna say worst case scenario, I memory of grace out, but realistically. I don't think I'll have time for that. What are we saying? Was that better damage than uh, Repost? Jeez. At this weight, 13.5%. Like that, yeah, that's that's huge damage, right? And if I wanted to, also, I could add on Red Feather. Like, if I was really concerned about damage. I mean, at that, at, with that amount of damage, an extra, you know, the 10% from Red Feather plus... Um, Plus that... Fuck. Holy shit, dude. We, we basically, like, scripted him here. <laughs> That's crazy. What was I saying? Yeah, yeah, so with Blue Dancer on top, like, we could probably almost just kill Estelle outright. You know, like not even need to do any damage beforehand, but. Well, yeah, 20% is Red Feather, but we have Ritual Sword, so only 10% more than it. I still don't think I'm going to bother with that. But bl yeah, Blue Feather, though, I, I or Blue Dancer Charm. That's very, uh, very tempting to go grab. The, uh, the Crucible Knight, it's a timed base thing for him, right? Is that correct? Holy shit, what is happening right here? That was maybe a little risky. So much for needing parries, because we we literally just script them right there. We have so much damage that we just script them. Okay, nice. Um, 30 seconds or 50%. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to just like gun it in there as quickly as possible then. What's up, Casey? All right, is the Leonine the final boss? I feel like he is. Where's my sword of cult? It's because this one has Gambit on it, so I just have a cult on it. There's no actual reason. 
Oh yeah, I still have a ton of runes as well, so we probably get maybe a bit more mind, maybe more strength. I don't really feel like we need more endurance or strength though, but probably a bit wouldn't hurt. Mm, do I go get blue dancer charm? It really does not take that long. It, t it probably does take about two minutes. I don't think red, like red feather takes a bit more effort. We would have to go get the crafting and all that stuff. We have to set it up before each boss. So we should just be missing uh drafted blade obviously and then I didn't grab the bolt of grand sacks. And, I, and then I think that's it. Oh, Elmer. Oh, yeah, I did forget Elmer. You're right. Yeah, we got to go do Elmer also. Not sure if this guy's vision is too good for. Um, I'm, I'm gonna actually have to figure out a strap for this guy, dude. His vision's fucking insane. I forget, is it like Elmer or is it like, is there an E after the L? I can't remember. Watching your daily streams has been a lot of fun. Playing the same game at the same time is pretty interesting. As a usual YouTube bandy, seeing all the back end practices in sight fall. Anyway, the, the DLC comes out near my birthday, and these characters aren't gonna prepare themselves. Good luck on the casual playthrough, and no hit runs, fellow Darninged. Peace, that guy immediately sprints at you the moment you get off the ladder, cheer 500. Uh, Power Gamer, thanks so much for the 500 bits, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks so much, dude. I wonder if now if... Yeah, okay. God, why is this guy's vision so insane? I have a template of my character's facial characteristics. It's literally all default face. Except for the hair color... <laughs> and the eyes. Eye color's different. That's it. No, he's not scripted. He just has insane aggro range for some reason. It's all good. We'll just cuckery and sneak past, I think. Oh. I thought I wasn't supposed to land on the that ledge there or else I wasn't sure if I was going to take fall damage.
I almost totally forgot about Elmer, dude. Um, Master Run. I don't think. No, I don't. I don't think Master Run is impossible in the S2. Skelly, Skelly Lords. When I was routing it, is just a huge block on it. Like it's a really garbage fight, but I don't make it impossible. But yeah, honestly, I like I haven't gone through the whole route, so, so somebody has apparently routed it though. But yeah, the reason why it's so tough is because you can't just do four rottens, like a normal any percent, because every 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 uh, consecutive NG cycle. So so the reason why you kill four rottens normally is so that you can get a million soul memory to go through the shrine of winter. But that one million requirement goes up each NG cycle. And it has to be it has to be rune uh, soul memory that you get on that ng cycle as well i believe so for example when i did uh all chibans no hit in ds2 i obviously you have to complete three ng cycles to get the spells and i ended up needing to kill like 20 rottens total like four on the first ng and then like eight on the second and then maybe it wasn't eight but i don't know it's, it's a lot you gotta kill a lot of rottens, but you can't do that because there's just not enough ascetics in the game. So. So that's the problem. And so so what that means, you have to do all the old souls. Um and that's why skeleton lords are involved and but yeah, skeleton lords are really the only boss I can think of that would be a huge issue on that. I should probably do Elmer a bit earlier because this this running section is like a little Oops. Even even just jumping past these slugs, I think is a little bit risky to do. Yeah, <laughs> Skyrim Master Run. I don't even know what that would mean. Uh, additional enemies in Lost Center, there's there's a strat for them. There's a strat. You can go, you can open up the door. I've actually never done this, but people were doing it for the skull. There was a bounty for doing a, lo uh, a Lost Center, like a four Lost Center route for No Hit DS2. And the people on Scholar, they found a strat where you can open the door and then just fight the boss in there and then the pyros never aggro to you. It, it, it's so funny that's possible, but... One, like, one problem for Master on all bosses DS2 would be, I, I don't know if there's a good strat at this point for the Flexile Sentry NPCs, or the extra guys in that boss. Like, that would likely be an issue. Surely made a save there. I did not. Yeah, I've already got this draft for this running section figured out because 
like I was saying earlier, we I've done an execution or greatsword no hit run before, and that required me to come through here pretty early. So, uh, how's it going, uh, Fabiota? Oh, yeah, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> I'm probably going to do this a bit earlier. Not sure when. It, it, it can be at any point once we get the plus 19, I think, so. Maybe I'll do it there. Hey, I just I forgot to uh, get, go to get the grace for the bolt. So at, at this point, I think that's every boss killed that we need to kill. And so I would probably just go do the final collection at this point because there's there's no reason to do it before this point. I don't maybe, think. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, boring NPC, thanks for the uh, seven month prime sub, dude. I think we have we have all of them though. Like I'm pretty sure the run's done at this point. Yeah, it's a pretty long run, dude. It'll probably probably be about two hours when we eventually do it. a bit longer than I thought but it just it takes so long to do the quest line stuff and um hello okay let's see ruins oh really Um, okay. Rune's Greatsword. Eclipse Shodel. Grafted Blade. Grafted Blade. Sword of Night and Flame. Executioner. Oh, I didn't... Yeah, dark, I mean, Dark Moon's just more collection. Like, but yeah, I guess... I guess I didn't go get it. And then Devour Scepter, Golden Order, and Bolt of Grand Sack, so... Yeah, all the, all the, like I said, all this extra collection stuff, we just do it at the very end, because there's, there's no reason to, uh... Like, waste our time going to pick it up.
kind of feel like I should go get Blue Dancer Charm at some point. Maybe... Maybe once we kill maybe, Gold Free maybe. or something. I'll give you the get the third Talisman slot ever. opened up. Uh, Bjarki, thanks for the brand new prompt sub, dude. There's not really anything to go test here. Like, we just run and go pick it up. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Maybe we want to use Gambit just to make sure I don't aggro the boss. But we clearly do not need Blue Dancer. Uh, we might as well. It's, that's going to be a big chunk of damage we're going to get. So. Oh, it is possible to fall. I was. I. I actually wanted to just test that right there. I was curious if that fall was going to kill. Okay, I'm not going to run back there. Okay, I'm going to go get a quick drink, you guys, and then... Oh, you know what? I should probably test, actually. <sighs> Maybe I should get Blue Dancer. I'm, I'm kind of convincing myself to go get it. When does, uh, when does Alexander move, by the way? Because... I kind of want to have a bow for shooting down the... For shooting down that mosquito. Throwing dagger. I guess I could. We, yeah, I mean, we could just start a different class. That is true. We could start Samurai. Although, I, the, you're not allowed to use the Uchi, apparently, though. Oh, that's not the right sword. Huh? I forget this guy's moveset. I've, I've learned I learned his moveset so well at one point, but now I just forget. I shouldn't really have to know it for this kill anyways. Like, he should get stunned in two hits, but... What the fuck are you doing? I think you sit at his right ankle, if I'm not mistaken. What a boss, dude. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe Square Off's kind of not very good for hitting his ankle.
I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to grab this. I'm probably going to grab it. Anyways, I'm going to go get some uh, water really quick, you guys, and then... Um, are we good to just start it, or...? Maybe do Crusader again or something. Uh, one second, you guys. Okay, thanks for waiting, you guys. Um, how long ago did we do the Crusader? Because I kind of just want to fight him really quick first. Let's go on Q. Um, you got a 26% attack boost. Uh, that doesn't sound right. How did you test that?
I need to test these jellyfish again to make sure that we can actually sneak by them. Yeah, thir around 13% is about right. Because I think at zero, it's like 20%. So if it's the same as Flynn's ring. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's definitely warming up here a lot. Very disappointing winter, dude. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's that is something that can happen, I guess. Yeah, so it's not it's not perfect as I assumed. I guess we'll just see what happens, but likely what I should do is go through the run right now, like in its entirety. Like, I, I don't know it. I don't know what to do, actually. Maybe we just get a first try and then I don't even have to think about it, but like if I get hit, I, it's maybe a good idea to just continue. Possibly. Hopefully, the, hopefully there's not anything that I missed. I think I'll get Blue Dancer Charm though, man. I think I will get it. Wait, so you can go around the side with Gambit? On the Golem? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Outsiders, thanks for the four month resub, dude. Oh, you can get up to his leg? Hmm. But it just, it, it's kind of weird because I feel like I would have used square off on that guy by now, but maybe I haven't, but it seems like it's not good to hit his ankle or, or it's just, it hits too low or something. I do think that extra damage is probably worth a bit of time to go get it though, probably. 
It's a pretty significant chunk of damage. That you're not then wine. I am Carl. Surely ten will be enough. Um, I think yeah, I think Square Off is probably one of the one of the better Ash of Wars. I, I don't know about one of the best though. Like it I don't know. It probably is. Square off on a great sword. Dark Souls 3 had something like that. But I guess they took it away in this game. I never even thought about that. I forget what the skill was called, though. But yeah, great swords like the Flamberge had it. And it was actually, on the Flamberge specifically, it was insane. I think it was just called, like, Stance or something. But I can play turning root to maybe, maybe to the foot. I'll give you the best I nut ever. Oops. I just said no by accident. Uh, Neon, thanks for that brand new sub, dude. Also, Outsiders, thanks for the four-month uh, resub as well. What's up, Triple Ace? I wonder if a Grafted Blade, the buff would be useful for anything. It is a really good buff. Extra five in every stat. It's kind of, it's pretty huge, man. Hmm. I don't know. We're, we're clearly not doing like the most optimized route here. I just want to do a route that doesn't require me to do a bunch of setup at the start. We still kind of have to do a bit. No, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get Square Off Ash of War, but that would be another thing that gives us a big chunk of damage, too. If I got if I got Red Feather, Blue Dancer Charm, and the actual Square Off Ash of War, and got, like, the Iron Wet Blade or whatever, that would be a big chunk of damage that we'd get. Or we could go just, like, quality. I think default quality is the best, and then we could... Just go both stats or something. No, I probably wouldn't rush Leonine right away because I, I could do that, but I don't think we need the Grafted Blade that badly. It'd just be like a, a little buff on top. Of everything that we already have. Uh, the Claymore in this game is a decent weapon. Yeah, it's got Lion's Claw on it, so. Hello? Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello? Oh. I am. Please. My thank. Wait. I see. I see it now. 
Humans all lose their lives eventually. Then there's nothing left to How could this? Was my whole existence just... Have I lost a run to a mosquito? I have not, actually. I've never lost a run to a mosquito yet. The one of my biggest fears, though, was when I was doing all boss and no hit. When and I fought a Gil super late in the run, and I was always so scared of just random mosquito coming in. Because there's a lot of mosquitoes over there, dude, and. For the for the master run, I think that's a legitimate concern, though. Do I dislike imps or revenants more? Um, I think I think revenants are cool, so probably imps. A uh, neon, by the way. Thanks so much for the brand new sub, which I probably already said thanks for, but thanks, dude. If I didn't, yeah, I think revenants are cool. I don't like the bo the the only revenant I really don't like is the boss one, though, because. They put him in such a garbage arena. Let's go on blobs. And uh Riado, how's it going, dude? But yeah, I don't think I've gotten by hit by a mosquito yet. I'm sure it'll happen. I'm sure it'll happen at some point. Uh, fall damage, so no hit. Environmental sources of damage don't count as hits, so. So yeah, falling is not a hit. Obviously, all the rules are just arbitrary anyways. You you could, you know, you could have a no hit run rule set where fall damage does count as a hit. And that, that you could argue that makes more sense, but. In the case of a Souls game, fall damage, it enables you to set up talismans or rings like red tear stone or red feather so it kind of makes sense to allow taking damage and falling is a good source of, of or a good way to be able to do that without getting hit so or getting hit by an enemy uh, i think somewhere in april agoraphobic is when bingo season three i guess is gonna start Wait, I missed it, Hunter, dude. I, I must have missed something. Yeah, yeah. dying... These runs are no-hit and no-death runs, usually. So any dying that's not required counts as a as a reset. No, we don't have to kill Malekith. <laughs> yeah, Big O Season 3 already, dude. Yeah, Dumbo's going insane, man. When when was the first season of Bingo? I wasn't was that this year? Or no no no, not this year, but Maybe, like maybe less than a year ago? I'll give you the best nut ever. I, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, Nomadic, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. It was in the summer? So it was within the last year. <laughs> That's... Th well, we've only done two seasons so far. Or there's only been two seasons so far, but... Pretty frequent, dude. Compared to Zero Hit League, there's been two seasons of Zero Hit League so far in, I feel like, over two years, right? The, the, only, the only thing that I think you have to think about with that is just not doing it so frequently that it just becomes like not special anymore or people don't get tired of it you know especially the runners
Because if the runners get tired of it, then it's it's, it's over, dude. Like, you, you can't have it anymore. To determine if you have it seems torrent, whereas I'm there is, but I can take gathering place. Let my hand sure. Uh, how's it going, Brando? There has not been a zero hit league for Elden Ring yet, no. But I guess you know what, though, if it's twice a year, if Bingo's twice a year, then like that, that's probably pretty reasonable, I guess. I, I wouldn't do it more than that. For sure. I think more than that's probably a bit too much. Uh Ryota, congrats, dude. What was your what was your build? Is this bell bearing dude? Just some random guy that we kill. I, I just want the runes from him. That's it. It's basically it's the same idea as the knight's cavalry thing, sorta. Not not the stride itself, but just the reason why you would kill him. But bell bearing hunter is just more on the way. Yeah, no, I think I think there 100% will be a season three of Zero Hit League, but I thought it was going to happen already. I, I remember people talking about it being in the winter or something like that, or maybe in the spring. So maybe it's coming soon. With the DLC coming out, though... That could either be a really good time to do it or a really bad time to do it. I think if, if, if you know, if Hob wants to fit it in before the DLC comes out, that's probably perfect. But you wouldn't want to have it. You wouldn't want to have it running into the DLC uh, release. I think probably. It's going to be money. Yeah, it would have to start very soon because the last one ran for how many months, man? It was... I think it probably averaged once a week and there were 18 matches probably, right? So, so yeah, it was... It was, it was a long time, man. Like four, four or five months or so. But maybe, maybe it averaged a bit more than one a week, but... I think the original... Goal was to do two a week, but then, you know, there were breaks and things got in the way and all this stuff. I think I agree, Liam. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it could be good, though. Depends. Depends how it's going to work, but it, you wouldn't be able to just apply the exact same idea of the Dark Souls and then do it in this game, I don't think. Mainly because open world areas for randomizer. The, the whole reason why randomizer no hit in this game is possible or enemy randomizer is because of how the areas work. And I think... I don't know. It would have to just be contained to the legacy dungeons probably. Those are pretty limited. So I, I don't know. It'll be figured out I'm sure. Yeah, the dungeon crawl. 
But but even that though, go I think just going through random caves. Which I'm pretty sure is part of that dungeon crawl mode, right? I'm not sure how how good that would be. Yeah, I, I I don't know how how good that would be. I think one part that was fun about the DS3 Zero Hit League was that, um, you know the the pool of areas is not that big because it's just all the areas in the game. But we got the areas the the correct frequency throughout the season. I I, I would say, and. Uh, I think that made it more interesting because you, you would be able to, you know, come up with strats for certain areas to make them higher percentage, but, you know, it's not like you got them every single, every single time you did a, a you know, six gates or whatever. You wouldn't get, you know, undead settlement every time, but you would get it enough where it still shows up, but it's not like annoying. It happens every time. It's just the correct frequency. But in this game, with how many caves and stuff there are, You'd probably go an entire season without seeing certain areas. But then on the other hand, if you do just the legacy dungeons, then... How many how many legacy dungeons would be interesting to go through? Not that many of them. Stormvale obviously would be great. And uh, like the academy would basically be impossible. I don't know, man. Not sure who's aggro to me right now. Well, no, the academy, the, the uh, the zombies would make the academy just atrocious to go through. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, maybe there would be enough of, the, of those big sections where it'd be fun to, to go through still. I don't know. I just, I really don't think you'd want to have those random caves in it. It's, it, it just gets so repetitive. And, and the catacombs, too. Just a bunch of random catacombs. One part that would be funny about it, though, is just seeing people try to determine what catacomb they're in and how to get through it. Because <laughs> there'd be a lot of people in the league. So the, so the way Zero Hit League works is it's relegation-based. And so you have you have eight players in it. And then every season, two players get swapped out. And then the rest of them have the option to, like, go into the next season. And so, uh... So... Oh, I guess I have to go to EG first. So if that happens, let's say six people are the same and there's only two new players. The, the six people who didn't get relegated last season... You know, a few of them have played Elden Ring enough. But I, I don't think they would know every single cave and catacomb inside out to be able to go through it. And, and be able to, like, identify it. So it'd be so funny seeing people in, in a catacomb. They have no idea where they are, how to get through it. C could you imagine the, uh, the what is it called? The Black Knife Catacomb? Like, the one in North Liurnia? And you're, you're meant to go fight the where the Black Knife is? And people <laughs> trying to get through there and trying to figure out where to go? It's like, where the fuck do I go, dude? be so funny well, I, presume. Oh. I am an old 
So here are haps. Oh yeah, the side tomb. Yeah, with the teleporter chest or um what's the one in the mountaintops called with the tree spirit? That one as well. Or or the the Esger catacomb also. There there'd be so many hilarious catacombs to see people try to go through. Um Yeah, I guess chat would tell them. That's true. Uh, love the world. Thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate that. Oh, dude. Landell Sewers is going to be so good. I, I would get lost in the sewer, honestly. If Well, it depends what the spawn is. Usually the spawns are at Fog Gate, so... I guess I wouldn't, but... That'd be an that'd be an amazing gate to have to go through. L let's say the spawn puts you in. Uh, let's say the spawn puts you in outside of Moog's arena in the sewer. Tr people trying to climb back out of there would be hilarious. I think it'd be so good. Cause you got to go through that shortcut. You got to go up the elevator, and then there's the room, and then. It'd be so funny. And then not, not even to mention all the boss possibilities, right? There's gonna ha there's gonna have to be a lot more thought put into, whoops, into the uh, like the band list of of bosses and the band list of areas and all that stuff. There's gonna have to be a lot of thought put into that. Because let's say let's say you have every cave on the table, and and let's say you get the Miranda cave right, the one in Weeping. If you get, there are several bosses that would just be sim like not even close to possible in that arena. Any big boss, you're just toast. You know, Placidus Axe, or you get Duo Gargs, or you get Trio Crystallion, or basically any boss, you're just completely dead. So there would have to be something that lets that not be possible. Um, I'm not sure if I'd finish this run today. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to, but yeah, like I said, the this run is slightly longer than I thought it would be. It's probably like 30 minutes longer than I thought, so. remember if there's anything I need for Renala or not. I don't feel like there's not. We just 
Simply go in and win. Yeah, lie down maybe, but... I'd rather just go fight her now. We, we like lie down. It, it's more. It's probably more important for the master run because if I'm trying to build up statuses and then she goes into the moon, then those statuses get reset if I, you know, if I can't re-engage for a while. But on this run, like, it's more just about dealing damage. So, you know, if we get forced away from the boss for a while. Not really the end of the world. We can just work our way back in after we get like a Comet Azure or something. Well, so what Lie Down allows is it, it allows you to stay close to Renala the entire time so that you're not getting those uh so, so when Renala gets too far away from you, she starts spamming the ranged attacks and it's very hard to get back in range when she's doing that. I should use the Physic. But... Hopefully that's enough. I'm just going to cycle again. Come, sweetings. Time to be born anew. Kind of misplayed this, but... You know what? I probably... I probably could have engaged right there. Like, dodged through the... The Bloodhound. And then got my stun. Because we were one hit away from a stun there. Seems a bit risky, but I, I should have tested that. Never really thought about it. Yeah, we're just doing, like, the Asmongold run strats here. Okay. Nice. Take that RNG. That's, yeah, that's that's pretty good RNG. Like, probably most of the time she'll go to instantly summon there, and then I'd just have to. So what what the strat is at that point is you. Unequip the beast torch. Make sure you just go like this. The wolf comes and attacks you and then despawns and then you just wait for the wolves again. That's the uh that's the normal strat there. And you just repeat that forever, so it's actually nice. Like it's nice to have a an actual generalized Renala strat that you don't like all you need is the beast torch and that's it. Um, if I was in the master room, would I worry about Renala? Well, 
yeah, Renal is a bit tricky on the master run, but we have a very, like, we basically use the same strat, so it's a very similar fight to what you just saw. Um, I've just, I've played these games a lot at this point, Tidor. I probably have, um, across all the Souls games, I probably have almost 9,000 hours now, so. Well, in fact, I, wait, probably more than that now. Probably like almost 10,000 hours, so. But yeah, I specifically practice for things, so it's not just, it's not just I'm playing the game just casually every time. I do like practice the boss fights and I test out strats. Do I need anything? I don't feel like I need anything from him. So yeah, Renala dead in, in 33 minutes real time is like, that's not bad at all, dude. Less than 30 minutes in the game. It almost, it, it almost makes me consider, what if just doing a normal any percent fighting Renala on it? Like, say for some new runner quest coming up. Maybe I should, maybe I should start considering fighting Renala more. The real reason why I didn't want to is because of Red Wolf, right? Red Wolf's a big problem, but... If you have vowed the Indomitable, then he should be consistent. Uh, I, I think around 2,900 pl uh, player of those hours are in Elden Ring. This is that RNG I was talking about earlier where I got to deal with this guy. Super rare. Like, this is this is the second time I've seen it. A much bigger problem on the uh, on the master run if he does this. At least I think it is. Because he doesn't just die in one hit. I'm just using normal Xbox uh, One controllers, Lancer, but I was honestly considering buying an Elite controller for the Master Run, like a brand new Elite controller, and then only using it for the Master Run. But yeah, the standard Xbox controllers, like the ones I've bought from the Microsoft site, they, they've they lasted me such a long time, dude, which is really nice because I'm so used to going through controllers so quickly. Um, But yeah, I've, I've gone through two Elite controllers, which both lasted approximately like four months. So that was not worth it. I really like the controller though. It just it doesn't last, <laughs> which is a big problem. But, um, but yeah. So there's the Elite controller, and then I I remember at one point too, I bought a bunch of like Power A controllers for cheaper, thinking like, oh yeah, you know, I'll break them, but probably still more cost effective than buying normal controllers, because Power A controllers you get them for like I don't know, thirty bucks maybe, twenty thirty bucks. So I bought a bunch of them, and then I, I just steamrolled through them, dude. They lasted me probably like a year total for like seven controllers. So so clearly that wasn't the play. Um, maybe it was a bit more than that. Maybe it was like, maybe it was like a year and a half. And then and I was like, you know what? I'll just buy the normal Xbox controllers. And now I've, I bought like, I think I bought four of them. I... They they're all perfectly good, like zero issues with all of them still. So, and and that was that was probably uh, two years ago or, or so, maybe. Yeah, probably about two years ago. And I I, I still use them all. I kind of rotate with them a little bit. But but yeah, no problems with them at this point. And 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 you know I I get a lot more. I, I compared to most people, I use my controllers a lot more. So. It makes sense that I go through them so much. It's not just like I'm playing games for two hours a day or something, right?
like I probably on average use my controllers for at least six to eight, like at least six hours a day, almost. Probably, I mean, it's probably more than that, actually, just because I, I do play off stream quite a bit as well, if I'm like practicing something. Well, no, I, I don't break them. They just, you know, eventually they start, you know, either bumpers stop working or some stick drift starts happening or buttons, uh, you know, start not working properly, basically. Where am I going? I could, I mean, I could fight Loretta now, but... Yeah, so the reason I... I I've considered getting an Elite controller again for the Master Run. First of all, I really like the Elite controller. It's my favorite controller I've used, if it wasn't for the durability issues. But they have... I, I, I like the controller a lot, but then the main reason is just the quick-fire triggers on them. And I'm sure there's other controllers I could get that also have it, but I really like the controller. And I would probably just only use it for that run, I think. And then just, like, use normal controllers for the other ones. Because the quick-fire triggers on Millennia are very good for parrying, right? Because it, it basically... I, I don't know how many milliseconds it would speed up response time. I'm sure you could find that somewhere, but... It would be by a, a meaningful amount on that boss. Or maybe maybe I, I swapped to the controller for that one fight and that's it. Sixer is a pretty big problem in all controllers. Um, yeah, I've, I've had issues with it for, with a lot of controllers, but. I'm not sure how durable the du uh, DualSense controllers are, but. I haven't used them enough to have any issues with them, but I do like the DualSense quite a bit. It's, the only thing I don't like about it is just the button placement. I wish. DualSense with Xbox button placement would be something I would use for sure, but. I, I've, I've used, I've used scuff controllers as well before. Um, I had a scuff controller that lasted me... The first controller that I started using for no hit... I think was a scuff controller, which lasted me... I think over two years, but... The thing is, though, I, I don't actually know... How much I was playing at that point. Because, obviously, when I was doing that, I was, like, working and... I wasn't streaming as much as I do now, so... But I think it was a scuff controller. Unless I'm getting it mixed up with some other company, but... Uh, so what you can do on Crucible Duo, Diego, is if you have Assassin's Gambit, you can, uh, there's a strat where you can fight them individually. And if you go watch my Crucible, or what's the sword? Ord Ordovis Greatsword No Hit Run, I do that strat. And it honestly, if you use that strat, it makes it a whole lot easier in my opinion. You like the dual sense? It just doesn't last. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I haven't used them enough. I, I've used dual sense for Demon Souls and any PlayStation. Obviously, I use it, but I very rarely use my PlayStation at this point. So I probably maximum used the dual sense for 200 hours, maximum, which is not a lot. Like this controller right now, I've used for 200 hours in the past like less than a month. I'm sure. So or probably like past month. Purple tunnel issues. I've never had any hand issues, no. No hand or wrist issues yet. Uh, I still I still climb occasionally, Liam. Not not as much as I was like a year ago, but I just do it for, for fun. I, I just it's the closest climbing gym is too far away. So I do still I do still like train climbing stuff though like I still use my hangboard every single day and, and stuff just because it's fun to do maybe maybe 
I'll give you the best nut uh, Kojak, ever. thanks for the one year resub, dude. But yeah, I have to imagine. I don't know this for sure, but I have to imagine um, all the like workouts I do and stuff help my hands a lot and my wrist to not get injured. I could be wrong in this. I, I haven't looked up any studies or anything, but I have to imagine like having strong wrists and, and, and hands and all this stuff has to help. Cause I've been doing this for, I've been doing this for like six years, dude. Or, or I started streaming in like 2017. So, and I've been playing games a lot <laughs> and it's, it's like zero issues so far. But maybe they will come eventually. I don't know. But yeah, my my girlfriend's more of the climber than I am. Like I just I just go occasionally with her, but she goes like she goes like three days a week usually. I just like to work out mostly, but climbing climbing is just fun to do. I think, but I don't really like I said, it's just too far for me. Let's go upgrade. You climb too, and you can claw grip like a furled finger. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Upgrade. All right, we're going to Redan. I guess I'll, I'll I'll use a like rod grease, right? Exercise helps prevent body injuries. Yes, that is seemingly true. But I have, I, I definitely have seen a lot of other streamers with like hand problems and stuff, right? And it, it makes sense when you're playing games so much. And to be fair, most controllers are pretty ergonomic, which is nice. It's not like using a mouse. And, I, I think using a mouse and keyboard for the amount of time that I use controller would be not good. But. But claw gripping is obviously not ideal, right? Which I do constantly. Uh, stamina. But yeah, I think it's just I think it's just the fact that I, I don't know, I do so many pull ups and I do calisthenics and stuff. So you need a lot of wrist and like hand strength for that stuff. So. Surely must help. Let's go, Adam. Um, I mean, I stretch. I don't know what a lot means. Probably not a lot for. I I just I feel like I just stretch a normal amount, like most days, like any time I'm working out, obviously. <laughs> How does surely help? Well, Shirley's a nice old lady, and uh, she likes to help out, dude. I've been dropping on this branch. So, yeah, I guess I'll use a rock grease here, and I'll use one on Morgoth. And then beyond that, I don't really know. Always been scared of climbing. Yeah, it's very easy to get injured <laughs> climbing. I've seen it. I've seen it a decent amount of time, especially like bouldering. But yeah, I yeah, that's that's another part of the reason why I don't do it like that much. But uh, my grip strength, I, I I don't know it, but I do have. I, I, so I do, I do train my grip with, uh, like, grippers, if that's what you mean, which I assume, but I, I consistently close Grip Genie 4, but, like, that's, that's what I do my workouts with it, usually, or when I'm working out, so, like, I just like to do it kind of as extra, but, I don't know what my max is, I've never actually, like, tested my max or anything. So, have I done a fist-only build? What what does that mean? I, I have done a fist-only run at one point. 
but and I guess it was a build. It was it was certainly a, a build. It was a build. So I don't really need these anymore. So when, like, I don't know if I want to go get Blue Dancer Charm, dude. I'm kind of scared of dying in the cave. Do I think Crosby will leave Pittsburgh? I don't know, man. I kind of hope so. Just... You know, as not a Pittsburgh fan at all. I feel like Pittsburgh has won too much recently, so I, I don't feel bad that they're losing and stuff now, but it'd be it'd be interesting to see him somewhere else, but it'd be so weird. Surely uh he'll come to Ottawa, dude. <laughs> Surely. Ottawa Senator, Sidney Crosby. His first destination. But Dar needs help. He shouldn't go to like Chicago's another team that I feel like I don't need to see win anymore, at least for a little bit. You should go to go to Edmonton on a team friendly deal, dude. Surely. Solidify Edmonton's cup this year. I, I did see that uh, Rasputan dude, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Honestly, that'd be really cool from a, just a, a fan perspective and whatever. But that makes no sense at all, to be honest. It, it would not work well, probably. He's a good he, like he's a good defenseman, obviously. You know, someone who can put up a lot of points. I feel like that's not the Suns' issue, though. The Suns have a lot of issues and. <laughs> and then, like, I don't think that would help solve any of them with how bad they are. They need a goalie. They need some shutdown defenders, and they need some two-way players. They don't need $11 million Car Eric Carlson, dude. Yeah, I, I have heard that before, Todd, actually. I did not mean to roll, of course. Kind of nice that the the 110 patch actually made repost decent because normally it would never be worth going for repost here, but on is now. You could get two to three solid demon for that Carlson price. Well, you know what's funny is that a lot of people, I don't know if this is like a conspiracy or whatever, but a lot of people, so Kyle Dubas, who's the GM of um, Pittsburgh at this point, right? When he was younger, he was a huge Senators fan. And so what a lot of people think is that the reason why he, you know, any, the reason why he's so interested in like these sense players, like, right? Like Spezza is another one is because he watched them growing up and he was a huge fan of them. <laughs> and so he probably just wanted Carlson just, you know, just because he's a sense fan or something. That's a, I've seen a lot of people say that, which is hilarious. It's funny to think that that could be true, actually. He just wants all the, the 
previous Sens captains on his teams, I guess. Um... <laughs> throwing your record because you're a simp. I, yeah, who knows if that's actually true, but... I mean, to be fair, it's not like Carlson's a bad defenseman, but... His contract's a little expensive. But a 100-point defenseman doesn't happen uh, very often. Uh, love the world. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good, uh, Have a good rest of your day. Thoughts on Playboy Cardi? I have no idea who that is. I don't know why people ask me about this person. No idea. Maybe people are asking me because they know. Like, I got some YouTube comments on, I think, the last video. It's like, how does he, how does he not know who this is? And so maybe now people are asking me that because they know I don't know who that is. <laughs> and so now they just want to see me say that or something. Jets. Is it a, is it an like a music artist or something? It must be, right? Uh thanks for hanging out, uh, easy breezy dude. I appreciate that. Oh, top five rapper. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess I just don't really pay much attention to, uh, to like, rap at this point, so. I, I never did, I guess, but. Would I say Albinoric Farming Spot is the best and most worth it? I would say it's the best, yeah. Professional professional noisemaker and auto tuner. Well, I mean there's nothing wrong with that. If you as long as you make things that sound good, then it doesn't really matter how you do it, I think. Probably should have used this earlier. Rap is the Amy Schumer of music. I know who that is. I think the Pandas can win the cup. I, I kind of hope so, man. I don't know what it is, but I I don't know I don't know why. It makes no sense, but I, I really like Atlantic teams for some reason. Like I like Tampa Bay and I like Florida. But maybe, I, I think the reason is because they play against Toronto in the playoffs pretty often, and I always cheer for them against Toronto. And so, like for Tampa, I've just, I've cheered for them so many years in a row that I'm just a fan at this point, I guess. Like, sort of. And I think that's why. Like, I know their players, I know, I know more about that team than any other team, obviously, other than Ottawa at this point. But... But yeah, I think it'd be cool to see Florida win a cup, though. I mean, they are easily a top five team so far. Easily. If not way more than that. Last year was a weird season for them, I think. Just because, I don't know, they were vastly underperforming. I'm not really sure what the problem was, but... Um, it's not surprising at all to me that they're a top team again this year. Because two years ago, they won the President's Trophy, obviously. Knows about Matthew Goodband? I do know about Matthew Goodband, yes. <laughs> I 
maybe maybe yeah I'll, if they start doing some like cap ever. circumvention or something then i think they could do it dude they need to pull a, a vegas on them and a tampa bay on them not sure if colorado did that two years ago but it seems like in order to win in the nhl the, the cup you just you have to circumvent the cap somehow it's like a requirement uh Ryura, thanks for the 11 month resub Welcome back. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the knights are going back to their old ways, dude. <laughs> Stone Eichel out. Actually, so funny how that's allowed. Um, I suppose this is fine. Um, in my opinion, what's the worst trade Sen's ever made? I don't know. It's got a, like, the first thing that pops in my mind is the stone trade. Like, uh, <laughs> that's got to be up there, dude. Getting rid of stone. Getting Branstrom in return, basically. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Oh, I never got uh, Gambit yet. Oh, and uh, yeah, I gotta kill Bernal. Let's go do that first. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Surely I will not ever. die. Like, hopefully, I don't have too much damage here. What's maybe, oh. maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. My damage actually seemed way lower than last time there. I have no you are an maybe not. Uh, Wets, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. And Menser, thanks for the. Three month prompts up as well. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Man, I'm just all disoriented here. Gino Makima with the 14 month prompts up. Thanks, dude. Oh, yeah, Zabanja is a terrible one, too. Like, just almost anything they've done in the past. Even trades that people initially thought were good. Chikrin trade. Maybe, I, I maybe well, like, is the probably the, the most recent one where it's ever. like, it seems good. Like, you're getting this, you know, seemingly solid defenseman. And you know what? Maybe it's still, like, it still hasn't fully gone through, you know. Maybe, like, we still don't maybe. know, I guess, but. I'll give you the best nut ever. Is this another first try run for Gino Lowe? Uh, Aram, thanks for the 23 month reset, dude. I don't know, man. I guess we'll see. Yeah, even the trick, trick run trade, which I think was... It was a first and two seconds. And at first, it seemed like an absolute steal, but... He's been really bad this year, man. He's actually been really bad. And so if, if now if they trade him away... Which, this happened to the Sens numerous times, where they, yeah, they, like, you know, like, even to brink it, I guess, sort of, right? Maybe I'll give you the best Another one, ever. where you, you know, make a trade or something. It seems good at first, but then it doesn't work out, and then the return is significantly worse than what you paid to get them. And then you're just losing assets, basically. So. Huberto for Kachuk trade. I mean, yeah, that's that's probably one of the worst trades of all time, but not maybe not of all time, but it's pretty bad. But at the same time, what choice did they really have, though? He clearly didn't want to be there, so. Uh, turn up, God. Thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Oh, we just have to obtain them, Giant K. Played Helldivers? I have not, but I might actually be playing it with Potastic at some point. Not sure. I 
I've heard it's a pretty good game. Is my name from Italia? It is not, unfortunately. I've had I've definitely had a lot of people who um, think I'm Italian or whatever, and then they get disappointed when they when I say I'm not. <laughs> I'm probably like zero percent Italian, dude. Oh, Ike will come back this week. Stone set to come back first day, first game of the playoffs, dude. All right, Assassin's Gambit. Maybe, maybe. Oh, imagine resting here. Why did I do this? Let's go on Florin. Uh, the clock. Thanks for the uh, four-month reset, dude. I shall farewell. I shall leave. I wish you luck. You have. I have no. Larkin, out for two. Wait, Larkin's hurt again. But, but why is Lindy Ruff fired getting you worried? Do you think they're going to, like, pick him up or something? I need Assassin's Gambit. I wish my favorite team was the Wings this year, dude. At least they're winning games, man. I'm a Stormcloak. I, I first picked Stormcloak, but then I picked Imperial, I think. Usually after that. A worker came into work literally screaming after the Bruins lost last year. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty horrible, to be honest. It was one of the worst losses I've seen. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Against a team that squeaked in. Uh, 10. Thanks for the brand new prime stuff, dude. Or 10 a mil. Thanks, dude. Yeah, the thing is, I, I honestly in the NHL right now, I'd probably I would probably rather be a fan of almost any other team other than Ottawa, dude. I'd probably except for maybe San Jose and except for Arizona. Those are the only two teams that I would not rather be a fan of. Only those two. The rest of the teams, I'll take them, dude. No problem. Yeah, maybe except for the Leafs actually. That's that's fair, actually. Okay, so maybe three teams then. Yeah, even Columbus, dude. At least Columbus is like has some players coming up and <laughs> I don't know. At least right now. Definitely right now. Maybe not in two years from now, but <laughs> Wait, what, Jade? What are you saying? But you know what? Even being a San Jose fan probably wouldn't be that bad. Because they, they really suck, but it's not like there's anything external that's happening with the team right now that I know of. Whereas with the Sens right now, obviously, there's the whole, like, draft pick that they lost. And, you know, the whole team has basically collapsed. And now at least it's being built back up. But 
obviously Arizona has the whole like the team's basically almost guaranteed to be moving soon. So <laughs> there's like that's a pretty big deal. Hate this position, please do exactly what you just did. Done, maybe. I roll that. Okay, so we need this grace. So I'm also going to turn my brightness down. All right, so I, I think I'm going to use rot here. I'm an Atlanta Thrashers fan now. Uh, I usually just cook, Buzzer. I think, yeah, the, the meal delivery things, services are, I, I think they're, I think they're decent. It just, that's, I'm not, like, obviously I've been sponsored by, like, HelloFresh and stuff, and it, it is, it is nice, but I'd rather just cook myself, honestly. I think those are more just for, uh, if you just don't have enough time or... Or, uh, like, whatever the case may be. I think it could work better, but... 60... How am I at 60 strength? Did I forget something? I feel like I was only at 50 at this point last time. And I guess I... Never got Blue Dancer. Like, I'm probably just gonna skip out on Blue Dancer, dude. We really don't need it. I don't feel like I need it. What am I doing, bro? That was that was also scuffed. It's really bad. Yeah, I kind of messed that up a bit. What's my favorite? What's my... Wait, what's my favorite? What's my favorite question? Um... I don't know. Probably one that's never been asked before. That's. I think that'd be a requirement. I don't know. Not, nothing that relates to this game, that's for sure. Nothing that relates to a Souls game is my favorite question. Hello, allow me. You because... The thorn, a husk, the only way, and because... I, I don't know. So I'd like to the flame then and guide you. No, it's definitely not the question I just answered. It would just have to be something that I'm interested in that I don't get asked a hundred times a day. <laughs> so. Am I glad I went to school? Um, I, I always meme about it. But I, I think I am, yeah, probably.
Yeah, because at the end of the day, the, the, the thing I went to university for, which was computer science and programming stuff, like, I, I'm still into it. So, I think there are a lot of things that are suboptimal about going to university and stuff. There's a lot of things that make no sense, but when I was taking the courses that I was actually there for, it was good. Even though at this point, you know, it's, I can't even say that it's not like I've used my degree or something because I have. So things probably would have been different if I didn't. So even though at this point, I'm obviously not <laughs> like doing a programming job or something. As a programmer, what do I think about AI VTuber streamers? I have no opinion, honestly. Went to college for 10 years. Should have become a plumber. Yeah. I think uh, at this point, at least for a lot of people that I know, it. I don't know if it's. I, I don't know what it is, but it's just. There's a lot of pressure to go to, uh, you know, like. Um, like a post secondary education or something. Instead of just doing something. You know, like if you just go into a trade job. I, I, I did have a, a quite a few friends who, you know, they went to. You know, they went, they went to, like, a college for, you know, a, a short program, like a year or even less in some cases, and they just immediately get a sick job where they're just making really good money and doing things that are fun, <laughs> right? So, I think that, honestly, that, pro that probably would have been something that I would have enjoyed as well, so... That college was suboptimal. Well, th dude, just think about it for a second, how... How much wasted time happens when you're going to a university and stuff. Just there's just such a I don't know. Find school easy. Um I I don't know. It's <laughs> it's hard to say that because I put zero effort into school, honestly. So so I guess so. Like I guess in in some ways yes, but it's not like I got like the top grades or anything like that. I think I could blindfold no hit college. Um probably. I I'm sure there'd be like some program that I could go in where they would uh, they would help me out with that. So yes. Uh, yeah, I still listen to Coldplay. My favorite song... Mm. I don't know, man. That's actually really tough. My favorite recent song of theirs is probably Coloratura, I think. But I don't know what my actual favorite one would be. I usually... The th I usually don't think about things in favorites. I, I don't know... I, I almost never think about that. That's part of why I don't like that the, the favorite questions that much. Because I never think about it. So. Code my own Souls game. I think it would be cool to be... I did take game development classes, and they were pretty fun. But I would... I think it'd be cool to be part of a... Like a, a director of a game. Maybe, you know? Maybe more so than doing the actual like nitty gritty details of the game, like the mechanics and the coding and all that stuff. I think it'd be more fun to just direct a game and put my ideas into it. But I don't think... I don't know if I'd ever do that, but who knows, man. Uh, Yuan, thanks for the brand new prompt stuff, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd be good at it, though, but I, I think... If someone was making a Souls-like game, I could probably at least give them a few pointers. <laughs> I think. That's maybe the extent of it, though.
Uh, Yuan, welcome in, dude. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Body Yanu, thanks for the running prime sub as well. Is Gino short for something? Not really. It's, it is funny, though. The original, where that nickname came from it is from hockey. So, like, a Gino is a goal. That's maybe, what, maybe so it's not really short for anything, but. Not ever. Short for ginormous. <laughs> uh, R123, thanks for the two-month prime sub as well, dude. Yeah, gold machine, I guess so. Alright, plus uh, 19. Probably go get uh, Kakaris pretty soon. <laughs> I, I was not the goalkeeper, no. That probably wouldn't be a good nickname for a goalie. You're a 3D artist willing to invest the time we can make a game? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if I'd even want to do that, though. It, it, it just, it sounds like it would be way too much effort. Well, it's not even, it's not even about the effort. It would be just such a painful experience that I don't know if I want to take part in. So. It's not the effort part. Because, yeah, I mean, making games is, sounds like a brutal thing to do. I'm not sure if we're gonna finish this run today, you guys. Even if, even if I don't get hit, like I might. I'd like to at least get past a Crusader, maybe. Just like your job, fun to start, pain, 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 fun to finish. <laughs> Well, I, I, I don't know. I just, when I, so I made, I had a project in one of my game development classes where I had to make a game in a group. And it was really fun to do. The whole thing was super fun, but we're talking, you know, that was something that was made over the course of a semester, basically, or I can't remember if it was a full year or not, but. It was not like a long-term three-year game project where there's a ton of moving parts and there's, you know, a whole team of people working on it. And I'm actually concerned about this game selling and and all this stuff. It was just for a grade, basically. So it's kind of different than that. But 100% it's different than that. So so in that in that environment, it's fun, but I could just see it where. If you're actually trying to make a real game and trying to sell it and all this stuff, then there's so many more factors and things that would be stressful about it. Do I like Simple Plan? I used to listen to Simple Plan, but <laughs> like a little bit. Just a bit, but I, I don't really like them, to be honest, at this point. Simply make a simply make a gotcha game, dude. That's what I would do. Make a gotcha game, get a bunch of get a bunch of people gambling on it. <laughs> make them pay like five dollars for a spin of something. That's the dream, dude. Of course. Maybe, maybe 
I'll give you the best nut ever. Pay five dollars for a spin of some hero in the game that you're not even close to guaranteed to get. And, uh... Simple. Bloom, thanks for the brand new prem sub, dude. Yeah, I've played, uh, I've played Witcher 1 and 2. Witcher 3, I've, I've started. But... See, the problem now, when I'm trying to play other games, is that I'm playing Souls games, right? And I, I that's a, mostly what I play, so... When I, when I started playing The Witcher 3, I was already, you know, doing no hit runs and stuff, so I'd play a bit of The Witcher 3, but then I'd be like, man, I just want to be routing this no hit run right now, and so I just, I couldn't start it, basically. But I beat, like, I played Witcher 1 and 2 long before I started streaming, so... Souls gotcha would go hard. <laughs> I don't know about that. I People were talking about that, I thought. An Elden Ring gotcha game that somebody was making. It actually might be real. I don't know. Commentating for a hitless event soon? I don't I don't think so. What event are you thinking? I don't know any hitless event that's happening anytime soon. There is the uh Elden Ring Gachi game. <laughs> How's it going, Geo? Uh there's there's the bingo season three that's coming up, but I think I'm gonna be playing in that. I wonder who my teammate's gonna be, dude. I'd love to be on like Dino's team. I got Starfield just after finishing Elden Ring. Yeah, I still haven't finished Starfield. I, I would like to at some point. How's it going, Jesse? You know what I was actually thinking about? I saw somebody do a DS3 randomizer run. I, f I forget who it was, but... It could be... It could be fun to do a DS3 randomizer. Yeah, maybe it was Squilla. Yeah, yeah. Because he was doing DS1, and I saw him doing some DS3. I think a few people have been doing it recently, but... Um... It'd be fun to just play DS3 again. Yeah, I saw Chris doing it as well. Yeah, I think I saw an Aggie video, or... or I, I thought I did, maybe. Although we did just kind of do the casual playthroughs of all those games again recently, so maybe I don't need to. Cestus and DS3 is insane. I thought I just heard somebody shoot at me, so I'm going to rest. Oh yeah, this guy sh How did he aggro? Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you're talking about Cestus. Yeah, I, the the way I beat Dark Souls three the first time was using perseverance. It, it's not like the Cestus are good, but it it's more about just perseverance, right? Like the Cestus themselves they're they're solid, and they they deal respectable damage, but it's nothing crazy. And so, yeah, my first playthrough, I used the Black Knight Sword of D in DS3. And I cheesed the entire game, almost. Once I once I actually figured it out. And figured out what that <laughs> Ash of War did and stuff. I could have... Give me the spins again. No! Maybe you could have used the Bewitching Branch there, but I just... I thought we were going to be a bit too close. 
Because if, if you can get both of them branched, they, they can get a stun on the boss and actually just take away 75% of his HP. Oh, so I think I finally see the difference between the two spins. I didn't actually know they had a different startup. Come on, buddy. Yes, buff him up and now do it. Just let him. Just sit still, Niall. Just leave him, dude. Here it is. Oh! Stun him? Hey, I'll take that, dude. I'll take it. my best roll. Insane boss AI. This is that that's the attack right there like that's this whole fight revolves around not getting stomped which is why i play him so safely and i i just don't want to be like point blank when he does a stomp because it's basically a frame perfect dodge so that's why i play him like such a coward <laughs> basically especially when i'm not you know i'm not super used to using square off on him so i'm not 100% aware on, on all the timings and stuff. Wait. J jump over the stomp? N what are you talking about? Are you claiming that you can jump over that? I'll give you the best nut ever. Man, if you're right, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> uh, Dizzle Dog, thanks for the four month resub, dude. Yeah, yeah, the lightning stomps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, the, the lightning stomps, but not the jump, not the frost one, right? I, dude, I'd be so stupid if you, <laughs> you could jump that. Uh, invincibility? Yeah, it would be good. But I, I just don't know if you'd have enough time to, like, swap to. Because. I want to use this. I want to use the Ash of War on this thing, right? So I'm not sure if I would have enough time to to swap to one hand when he does it and then roll, or not roll and then use it. I tested it years ago. Yeah, I just sometimes when people say stuff like that, I just I get I don't know. I just I I'm not 100% confident in something, and so it's like holy shit, is that actually true? Yeah, the lightning ones you can for sure jump over. It's a good it's a good strat on a lot of builds. In this case, we we use square off, so jumping's actually bad. But yeah, if you're using a jump attack build, obviously it's good. Finish casual we are not even remotely close to finish that. We are literally a hundred in-game hours away from finishing that, at least. So
<laughs> How's it going, uh, Chief Chicken? I mean, I, I don't always do that, but... I used to do that a lot more. When I was doing no hit runs and there's a game on, I just put it on, but... At this point, usually I end my stream when there's a game happening, so... Like, my, my stream schedule doesn't... I, I don't stream when games are happening, usually. All right, hopefully uh, this Crusader fight goes okay. Uh, I just, I, I continue the casual playthrough just whenever I feel like doing it, really. Right now, I'm kind of, I've been a bit more focused on the master run. But now we're kind of taking a... Now we're doing this, I guess, so. I don't know. This, this, this run shouldn't really take me that long to get. I should, like, easily be able to get this within the week, right? So I'm not anticipating this will take as long as the master run will take, but even the master run, I don't think it'll take that much longer, but I, I still need to practice more for it, so. You know what? I'm, it's probably more likely I get hit by a jellyfish in here than the actual boss. I, I've never played Hollow Knight, actually, no. Even though I've been told probably a thousand times to play it. Is an interesting way of scheduling runs. Well, my schedule is that there is no schedule. That is the schedule. Who are they playing, Geo? What's up, Lucy? Uh, we we just have to go get every legendary armament, uh, Max. You don't even have to use them. Uh, Dizzle Dog, I don't know if I said thanks for that uh, four month resub, dude. I appreciate that. Streamer streamer memory, of course. Uh. Oh. I think he's aggroed to me. Yep. Maybe I should use Gambit there. Okay, this is not going according to the plan. You know what? I actually did grab the sleep recipe. Kind of forgot. Please go closer to that, Mr. Uh, Squid. How's it going, Skull? I wish these I wish there was a way to not have these guys aggro. It's so annoying. Maybe it's dark enough to turn off my lights, dude. Matches the theme of the cave. The dark, cold cave. Whoa. This is kind of scuffed as hell, dude. Can you cuckery a jellyfish? I don't like this at all. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't like those guys, man. Nothing personal, but, uh... It was nice. Chilling in a, in a random cave with <laughs> one of nine legendary weapons. Well, the lore, I think, is that those guys really like legendary weapons. I don't know why he's in a frozen cave, though. No Uchi allowed, but this? Yeah, yeah, true. But Squaros not really like a meta thing, though, that people use all the time. So, whereas Uchi, every, like, for bingo, for example, everyone just used the Uchi the whole time. That was it. You just simply used the Uchi. But nobody really went with Squaroth. So... Okay, so we got Elmer. Hopefully this running section goes smoothly. Esgar the Mastermind, dude. Well, yeah, Uchi's got bleed, but the, the main thing that's really insane about it is just that... Well, yeah, it's got bleed. Oh, boy. That actually really scared me. It's, it's got bleed. It has... 30 poise damage, which is pretty solid. But it's it's kind of like how fast that 30 poise damage comes out, right? Uh, the heavy unsheath is so quick. And that's why it's so good. It's so quick. Obviously has bleed, but it's it's really quick poise damage and really just good damage, so. But honestly, for this run, I, I would probably just rather square off than the Uchi overall. But maybe maybe not. I, I don't know. Uh, Super dude, thanks for hanging out. Have a have a good one, dude. Probably level up. I, I just don't even know what to level up, man. Like more strength. Maybe 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 some endurance. Maybe a bit of mind too. Uh, Zamara, thanks for the 60-month resub. I appreciate that. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Your videos are awesome. I'm loving them. Keep it up. Oops. I don't know why. Even the last time I ran through here, I kind of messed up that jump. Uh, Sir Merlin, thanks for the brand new prime sub. And Moody, thanks for the two month resub as well.
There's another one. Yeah, we're, we're dealing too much damage to proc frost, but I might as well use it, right? I don't think there's any reason to not use it. Probably would be better going with like a lightning grease, though. If I had access to one. Okay, so we're going to hit the Grace here, but I'm not going to get the Sword of Night and Flame until later, I think. Or, I don't know, maybe I should get it now. I guess I'll just get it. Nighttime does make these guys spawn later, which I, I think is good. Oh my god, look at this guy's, like, fucking DS2 aim. He's leading his shot. <laughs> That's actually hilarious, dude. Actual DS2 aim. Everyone knows, everyone who's played DS2 knows the DS2 archers are by far the worst. Or the most annoying to deal with, and it's because they, they ba like the way they aim is by just calculating your, um, like the speed at which you're running, and then shooting to if you continue in that direction, that it'll like hit you basically. So it, it's actually very hard to deal with them somehow. You would think that's pretty simple because the arrows don't even really curve, but. But they aim where you're going. And they get you every time. Yeah, maybe maybe they curve a little bit, but it's not like DS1 where the arrows are in slow motion and it actually is a huge curve and can curve around walls and all that stuff. It doesn't it's not that drastic. It's more so that they just know exactly where you're going and they shoot to that spot. And so if you just keep running, you are dead. I don't think I need this grace for any reason. Someone gives a straight sword and square off the stage it deserves. Well, I've done a few runs with square off now. I, It's unfortunate, but... Uh, I did a cane sword no hit run that somebody requested, but... What ended up happening was I forgot to highlight the run on Twitch, and so it, it ended up getting deleted. And so that, that run's gone. But that was, that was an insane square off showcase because I was using a... The cane sword is probably the worst straight sword. If not, like, bottom two straight sword. But it's it's still mowed through the game. Even being a bad straight sword. Let's go into Erdbeer, by the way. But, but yeah, so that VOD's gone. I did do a randomizer no hit where I really wanted to use square off on it. And I did, so... So that's probably the one run that I've done that you can actually go and like just check out. Possible to now hit the game without Assassin Gambit or on C form. Yes, I mean, the first run I did, I, I did not use. Or actually, most of the first runs I did were not with any stealth at all. Or any stealth spells or effects. It was just sneaking. So yeah, it's definitely possible, but... Using Assassin Gambit and stuff definitely makes the runs... It, it kind of simplifies them a lot. There's a lot less enemies that you have to fight head-on or have some convoluted strat for or something like that. All right, so we're going to Estelle. I'm hoping if we can get through Estelle, then we can finish up the run here. How's our time looking also? 140, so... Thou must have the 
haven't no re intriguing. Mm. Wilt thou end? I am the will. I don't know. Are we like 20 minutes away from finishing this? I'm, I'm not sure. So after Estelle, we, we just need to go get the last two, or the last two bosses that have the armaments, so... Um, that would be Redmain Duo, and it would be Miss, or Leonine. And then beyond that, we just have to go collect, like, the last ones, basically. You know, like, collect Darkmoon Greatsword, collect, um... Bolt of Grand Sacks and all that stuff. Yeah, I'll probably just backstab Blight, I think. Because I, I should have tested him more when we were going through this, but I, I kind of didn't, so. Just backstab, just backstab into Square Off should be fine. Why is Reduvi and Alblaster Lord Sword banned? I, it's, it's because those are very popular no-hit weapons. Now, to be fair, Alabaster Lord Sword is not a realistic weapon for this run anyways, I don't think. Because you, you get it from the guy in Lake of Rot, right? Um, and, and Reduvia is a weapon a lot of people have used as well. So I think the idea was just to force people away from using the meta setups that have been used a lot. Or in yellow and external. Yeah, I, I guess. So, yeah, there's two. It is an insane weapon, for sure. It's one of the best weapons in the game. It's just, it's kind of too late to use, I think. Other people means the length. Yeah, maybe, I guess. But I've definitely seen others use Reduvia. And I think a lot of people see it as a, as like, a really solid weapon for no hit. Which it is, it is, to be fair, so. I'm personally not the biggest fan of it. I'd just rather go with a more melee-based setup, like square off or whatever. No, cane sword isn't that bad. It's just, it's basically the worst straight sword, I think. And so that's why... The, the person who requested it, Heisman, I think the point was Heisman likes to request really bad setups. And I think the whole point of Heisman requesting it was like, oh yeah, here's a garbage setup. Have fun. And it turned out to be insane, so. Well, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't insane, but it was pretty simple. It's just because Square Off is so good. But yeah, it's, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's just the lowest damage straight sword. And if you compare it to the broad sword, it gets like, a max upgrade, it gets probably 80 less AR or something like that. Okay, yeah, no, sorry. Not the worst straight sword, the worst square off straight sword, probably. Because yeah, I'd probably rather use the cane sword over like the rotten sword or whatever. Like I would easily rather that, so... Why can't we throw rocks? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Should be able to. Uh, ben, thanks for the good luck. Don't see it as the best. You, like, you, are you saying Reduvia? I, I agree. I, I think... I, I agree. But like I said, I think the, the goal was just... The gods demand for people to use weapons that Robot aren't seen a lot. Boy. Right? And part of the Robot reason why people use Reduvia is because it is so early in the game. But it's a solid weapon, and it's very early, so. 
I think the point was just to encourage different setups. Uh, Sheila, thanks so much for the donation as well. And yeah, ha uh, have a good night as well. Thanks for hanging out. Not great for, great for Rata Beast. It is definitely not good on Rata Beast. That is correct. And yeah, like banning Bloodhound Fang, obviously people use Bloodhound Fang quite a bit for speedruns mostly, but... Uh, and then there's also, you know, like, obviously the Star Fist and stuff. It's makes sense. But, but you know what, though? Like, on this run, I would rather fight Misbegotten Crusader with Square Off than probably almost anything else. And there's very few setups that I'd rather fight him with, especially when it's not just a, a script and it's, it's an actual boss fight. There's very few other things I'd rather fight him with. Like, has a, a script for Radabees? Really? Man, that is surprising. That's even possible, dude. That's insane. Like, is it with a stun? It must be with a stun, right? Like, and, and yeah, it would make sense that you'd be able to kill after rings. So, if that's what it is. If that's what it is, it makes sense. Because, yeah, a lot of weapons... A lot of weapons can get... Not a full script, but a kill after rings when you get them. Um, is it is it using the poise break tier, or is it just enough poise damage that it does the job? Because that would be... How many R2s would that be? Would it be seven? Or is it more than seven, actually? Is it like eight? Uh, gonna go faith build for DLC? No, I, I'm gonna go with a build... I'm gonna go with a an all-around build. That just has access to everything. Like, probably like 30 in every stat. I What I would like to do is get a character that... Um... Has basically every weapon to plus 24 or plus 9. I think that'd be cool. And when, I, when I've when i said that before, people say just like, oh yeah, just use a mule for that. You know, like get a save file that you can download or use cheat engine to it. But that's not really the point. I actually want to set it up. It's not even really about... It's more about just like getting that set up. I think it sounds fun to do. Because obviously I'm not going to use every single weapon and I'm not going to, you know, like the crystal dagger. I'm never going to use that thing. It's a piece of trash, but it'd just be kind of cool, I think. Lean rot spear is the best spear. Mm, I don't know about that. The thing with spears, it's it's really hard to compare weapons like that because... How do you factor in Ash of Wars? For example, when I was doing my dagger run, my dagger only run, some people commented it's like, you know, you're using too many Ash of Wars, so it's not really like a fair representation or something, but but it depends. It just, I don't know, like is, is being able to swap Ash of Wars part of a weapon class? I would say so. But on the other hand, it might be like, well, it's not fair to compare weapons with Ash of Wars because it's not the actual weapon itself. But either way, you know, the Clean Rot Spear is a solid weapon, I, I guess. It's honestly not that good, but okay. There's a cool Ash of War on it, but I would easily... I would take any other spear with a uh, Ice Spear on it. I would take any other spear, any day. Like, no questions asked. Like, even just the Short Spear, if you throw an Ice Spear on that thing... That thing's an absolute monster, so. But yeah, even even if you don't swap Ash of Wars, though, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be convinced it's the best, because it's got holy damage and... 
It's okay. And I think people overlook that sometimes, is, is how... How strong it is to be able to swap out Ash of Wars on weapons and how much better that makes the weapon. Because they just become so versatile when you can just put so many different options on it, then you can adapt to most situations. Whereas with a lot of the somber weapons, you, you get one choice. And, you know, sometimes that choice can be good, but then sometimes it's not as good. Like the wing, wing of Estelle is a, is a decent example of me because, well... Maybe that's too good of an Ash of War to use it as an example, but... Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Less than maybe eight. like the Serpent Hunter. Because the Serpent Hunter is a, a solid weapon. Because it deals damage, but... <laughs> that's, like, it doesn't really do anything special to make it really good. It just hits hard. There's so many weapons I'd take over Serpent Hunter, but a lot of people see Serpent Hunter as one of the best weapons in the game. But I just... I just don't, because it, it just... It's too... Like, it's solid, but... It's not... It's it's very one-dimensional, I guess. Enigma, thanks for the eight-month resub, dude. And I, I think part of the, the upgrade route... Adds to that as well, right? Where, um... A lot of people want to use somber weapons just because it's so easy to get them upgraded right away. And, and you know what? Maybe FromSoft even thought about that. Maybe they're like, okay, we have all these other weapons that you can use almost any Ash of War on. I don't know why I kept talking to her. That you can use almost any Ash of War on. Let's at least make the somber weapons upgrade more easily to kind of compensate for that. Maybe that's what they were thinking, dude. I don't know. It would make sense. What's wrong with an Ash War that hits hard? What, what are you talking about the Servant Hunter? Or what? Yeah, Servant Hunter Ash War hits hard, but good luck actually using that. Although, to be fair, you can use it for sneak attacks and stuff, so. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the Witch cometh to rend thy flesh with a fateful wound, ne'er to heal. I'm just gonna just kite out the, or just bait out the jump every time. I should have tested this fight more because I feel like you could get a guaranteed stun punish after a backstab, but I just, I don't know. I didn't test it enough. You don't like the Ash of War system? It makes a lot of weapons just a tool instead of unique weapons. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Um, I, I, I kind of, I, I agree. I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of it because you're right. It, there's a lot of weapons that. I don't know. Well, what would you what would you prefer? What they did in Dark Souls Three or, or this game? Because the weapons in Dark Souls Three, there's a lot of weapons that are just literally the exact same, and there's nothing that you could do to change it at all. Right? For example, the um, I don't know. I can't. I can't. Somehow can't think of two weapons. Like, I don't know. Short sword versus no. That's different. Short Sword versus Lothric Knight Sword, let's say. They, I think they both have the same Ash of War. Or both have the same weapon art. 
And... You know, one just has slightly more range. But I guess the scaling's different on them, but... I don't know. It, it, I'm not sure which one I prefer, honestly. I probably still prefer this, because you have more options, but... I do agree, like, sometimes you, you only use a weapon... Well, your, your weapon becomes an, an Ash of War vessel, basically. Right, and when I did the when I did the no hit run with the uh, what's it called the prelate hammer, I I ba I simply spammed lion's claw, so it became a lion's claw vessel basically, and that's all it was. It's still an insane build, but but yeah, I I maybe maybe there's something where where they could add customization, but not make it as I don't know I don't know what to do I like what Liza P does with the weapons I think that's pretty cool if you want to have customization and stuff let's go Nat by the way but I I do agree that it is it is sort of a problem I think my ideal thing would be what Bloodborne has, but just expanded more. But that's that's not really a unique opinion. I, I feel like everyone probably thinks that. Like instead of only having like 24 weapons in the game or something, I would, I would imagine Elden Ring has Bloodborne weapons, but there's there's fucking hundred of them. But yeah, I, I I do I would say twenty. I think it works for Bloodborne, but it wouldn't work in an, in a game like this. I don't think I, I would prefer more, just personally. Okay, so three square offs. Yeah, Liza P. I I think Liza P's weapons are really sick, dude. I really like it. Three square offs, and then we can do our combo. It's honestly not my best roll right there. So let's wait for the poise reset. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. You should know how. Uh, Albo Norco, thanks for the six month reset, dude. Very nice. Let's go get this now before I forget. Alright, into red main duo.
I guess I'll level up more. I, I wonder if, if Dex is better at this point. It probably is. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. That was, that was, it was bad RNG because he gave us an extra attack. And so I didn't get the stun after he did the transition. And I, I'm not going to lie, I thought I got hit as well. Because, uh, I like went over a chair or something and I thought it was my character getting stunned somehow. So actually, I, I thought I got hit right there somehow. And, and with the hitboxes on that night, I wouldn't have even been surprised if I just got hit from a mile away. Uh, Messwire, thanks for the four month tier three resub, dude. Holy shit, man. I appreciate that. All right, so we got Lee and Ayn, and then uh, <clears throat> we have some collection to do. Actually, so annoying. I had, I'd like, chapped lip lips all weekend, and it's, it's very annoying. At least it's it's a bit better now, because streaming when your lips are all messed up is not fun, dude. I don't even know how it happened. So I need some of these. Um, I've I've played Monster Hunter World for approximately two hours. I feel like I'm pretty sure it was like two hours. It's not because I don't like the game that I stopped playing, but. Like I, I got the game and it's, it's, it's another case of a game that if I wasn't streaming and playing Souls games all day long, I would for sure have played it a lot. And it's like Witcher 3 we were talking about earlier. Monster Hunter is, is an example of a game. Like I think that'd be one of the games I is almost like perfectly suited to what I like. You know, a game with a bit of grinding and you have some, you know, some fights and some cool movesets on weapons and all that stuff. Guy's actually trolling, dude.
and I nearly fell off there. Yeah, imagine if he did land up. That would have been such a troll, dude. How many hours do I have in Elden Ring compared to DS3? DS3, I have about 5,000. This game, I have around 2,900. So still a long way to go before I reach DS3 amount of hours, but I'm sure it'll happen... sooner rather than later. You know, it is, it is actually pretty funny because sometimes I get like comments on YouTube or people talking in the chat saying something referencing Dark Souls 3 and how I, I, I don't know, like just a comment from somebody who has no idea how much I've played Dark Souls 3. I, I can't really think of an example right now, but there's one just the other day. I can't remember what it was, but they were saying something I wouldn't like in DS3 or whatever. But it, it, it does make sense, to be fair, because... Um, a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of new people coming to my channel with Elden Ring, so it makes sense that they don't know what I've done in the previous Souls games and stuff, but... Okay, so let's start... We gotta do some collection here. For True Sanctuary. Let, let me just... I'll, I'll make a new split. Make a collection split. Okay, well, there's a crash. Honestly, a good time for that. After I killed the boss, at least. Yeah, so we got, we got some weapons to collect now. So we got Sword of Night and Flame. We have to get both of Grand Sacks. We have to get... Yeah, I should try DS3, but it, it is interesting. Like, I, I don't... I'm not, like, offended by it or anything like that, but... Oh, now my borderless window's not picking up the game. Here we go. But it is weird, because I've played DS3 for so many years, and DS3 is literally the reason I started streaming. And so it's weird when there's people that, you know, like watch my channel or something. It's it's not bad, but that don't know I play Dark Souls 3 a lot <laughs> or, or, you know, even like Dark Souls 2 to a smaller degree, but. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 is the whole, like, no hit running Dark Souls 3 is the whole reason I started streaming in the first place. That's where I have the majority of my hours. But you know what? It's it's Dark Souls 3 is no longer the majority. I was I just said it's the majority of my hours, but Well, it still actually is, never mind. It's it's almost to the point where Dark Souls 3 is less than half of my entire Souls game playtime. It's getting to that point. I have yeah, like I said, I have around 5,000 in DS3, and to be fair, though, it is harder to track the hours in that game because I usually don't play it with Steam Online, so that's that's a little bit of a guess. This it's, it's definitely around there, and in total in the Souls games, I think I have around 9,500 hours around, so it is nearly at a point where Dark Souls 3 is no longer over 50% of my Souls game playtime. Nearly. Yeah, it's not even because I, I, I like Elden Ring more than DS3, 100%, but it's just, that was my first Souls game, and 
that was the first one where I like started challenge running and and stuff. So, uh, Jonas, thanks for the hundred bits, dude. So it was. I appreciate that. Who would become perhaps I am. I Give me your sword, woman. Sword. Doll. Here we go. I said I was gonna go get the bolt, but then I guess the the crash took me over here first. Am I gonna use it though? What the the weapon? No, if everything goes according to the plan, the run should be done here. Remind me to not go to round table though, because if I go to round table, then that guy's waiting for me. Is there any other there must be some other weapon, I think, right? Or is that it? Is this the last one? Bones like Moonlight are also a recurring element. That is true. Is there a Moonlight Greatsword in Demon Souls? I Yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, so it started in Demon Souls. In that, like, slug, slug thing in the... I don't remember what world it is. The I don't know. Okay, is that the run done? Oh, it's starting Kingsfield, really? Okay, well, there you go. I think the run's done. Let me just double check, though. I got the screenshot still up. So we got... Let's go through them. Ruins Greatsword. Eclipse Shuttle. Chodal, Grafted Blade, Sword of Night and Flame, Executioner, Moray's Executioner Sword, Dark Moon Great Sword, Devour Scepter, Golden Order Great Sword, and we just got the Bolt of Grand Sack. So there it is. 210, final time. I, we, I didn't really do this run enough to like actually optimize that time. I, I don't know if time actually matters for the bounty, but. Okay, so I guess the, the goal is complete. I, I was hoping that I'd be able to finish this today just so that like, it would be just like a one-day kind of fun thing to do and then we just go back to normal stuff uh, tomorrow. But I, I the main reason why I wanted to do this was just because it, it's a very, like, it actually seemed like a really interesting idea that sounded like it was fun to route. And it was. to be, like fighting, fighting bosses like Leonine and Red Main Duo and... Uh, Elmer and Miss Begotten Crusader. The, it's not really often that I fight against those bosses at this point, so. And it's always funny to see how Square Off just destroys the game as well, right? So. Yeah, that should be all of them, dude. And then, uh, I guess. Yeah, the first three runners to complete will be awarded the Bounty Hunter role in the Hitless Discord, but. I'm pretty sure I got that role on the first bounty that has ever happened, so. Like, how many, however many years ago that was. But, uh, some stuff like this is fun to do, but hopefully they just move it on to the next person, because <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this is a fun run, man. Yeah, if you want to try it yourself, you can uh, join that Hitless Discord. I, I think there is a command for it. You do, like, exclamation mark Hitless. And, uh, I mean, you could also just do it not no hit if you don't want to do it no hit. It's still, like, a fun run to do. But, anyways, yeah, thanks for uh, hanging out today, guys. It was a good stream. But I will be back on tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a long stream with with Minecraft and, and stuff. So I'm I've been waiting to play Minecraft, man, on our world because we gotta. There's so much we gotta do. But yeah, we'll play Minecraft tomorrow. But we will either uh, continue Master Run, going for that, or casual playthrough. Either one. Not really sure. Um, yeah, but yeah, GG's, you guys. Let's see if there's anyone on to raid right now. Who is on to raid? Uh, I wish I could raid on YouTube as well. Even though I, not as many people stream on YouTube, and, and the people that I do follow that stream on YouTube mostly interact with their Twitch chat, but it's still be kind of cool. Panthers versus Rangers, who wins? 
Is that the game tonight? I didn't see if Gio responded, but... I don't know, man. That's... That could be like a conference final game, potentially. Let's raid Domo, dude. He's probably... He's going to be hosting the uh, Season 3 bingo, which I should be in. You know, you never know. Things could pop up, especially when it's, you know, uh, the season is probably going to be at least a couple months of commitment. But I am planning to be in Season 3 bingo. It's going to be a 2v2 bingo uh, event. Not sure who my, who my teammate is. It's not... It's not like a... Not something where I, I pick my team or something. I, I think he's gonna he's gonna do it based on the placements of the previous bingo seasons. So it should be more balanced, but it should be fun, man. I, I think I, I really hope I'm with Dino. I think that'd be fun, dude. Hopefully I'm with Dino. But anyways, take care you guys. I will be back on tomorrow and I will see you then.